And a foul, I think, on McChesney. Yeah. McChesney whistled for the foul. Kaler, is that how you pronounce that? We're McKenna Kaler coming into the game for Rams. Kohler. Kohler. That's Kohler. McKenna Kohler. Kohler. Inbound pass to Boswell. Back to Lindsey. Now to Ramirez. Pressure in the backcourt. And Boswell across center stripe. There's Siebenecker for three off the left wing. It's no good. We're going to have a jump ball, I believe. Good job there by Ellison Johnson to scrap for that tie up there. The Tigers will maintain possession here. Ramirez will inbound it for the Tigers. Yeah, Ramirez at the baseline will put it into play. 4.32 to play in the first. 14-2 is our score. Inbound pass out top to Boswell. Now to Siebenecker. She skips it across it. Boy, nice job there by Nanfito to step in and steal it. Comes away with it down to the other end. Kicks it out to the corner or the left side. Hughes for three. Nope, Siebenecker with the board. And it's going to be stolen. The Rams down to the corner. It goes to... Hughes, or I'm sorry, Arnold, Danica Arnold puts it up. It's no good. Down to the baseline, inside to Lindsay, and it's going to be knocked loose, and Lindsay picks it up, puts it up oh. off balance, and scores two. Nice drive there by Olivia, the left hand, and then she found Jaden. Jaden hung, hung in there and got the bucket. Down to the corner it goes. Inside to Hughes. There's a deep three from McChesney. It's no good. Rebound. Ellison Johnson. Ellison Johnson. Another long three from Olivia doesn't go. Rebound to the Rams. Rams now with McChesney on the push up front court. Out of the inside it goes. Arnold kicks it out to Nanfito for three. It's no good. She that chases down her own board, follows it, puts it up. No good. This time Ramirez comes away with it. Merced Ramirez. Long rebound there. Rams were able to get a second rebound. Tigers actually had good rebound in position. Just sometimes that ball will not bounce your direction. And Johnson drives the baseline, tries to do the reverse layup, but it's blocked out of play. Tigers are going to keep it. That move right there, Aaron Elson would not have tried the first couple weeks of the season, but she drove baseline and tried to reverse layup. Took a good defensive play to block that away. Tigers maintain possession. 14-4 to four with just over three minutes to play in the first. String back up and running now. We apologize. Shot from Ramirez. Shot's no good. Rebound pulled down by Hughes. Hopefully that doesn't happen again, but I can't promise it. Down to the baseline, Smith swings it around to Nanfito. In the corner, that's Arnold. Back out top to Smith for three. No good. Rebound chased down by Kohler. Inside bounces off of a few players and finally picked up by Boswell. Yeah, it was deflected like by, a ping pong. Roller. Yeah, defect, reflected by Siebenecker, and Tigers come up the loose ball. Inside the foul line, down underneath Lindsay for two. Beautiful drive by Merced. Nice body position by Jaden Lindsay to seal off the rim, and she got the bucket. Out on the right side it goes, and then back top of the key. Swings it over left to Nanfito. Top of the key to Hughes. Working it around the arc. Inside it goes to Hughes. I guess that's Lauren Hughes. We have a couple of Hughes to see. Benecker ties a, up again. That'll be a jump ball. So Emily's been active defensively here for the Tigers. And the Rams will have it at the baseline. The inbound pass will come from Foos. Lydia Foos will put it into play. Right underneath, Hughes puts it off the glass for two. Lauren Hughes. Yeah, just right there in the middle of the lane and had the inbounds pass and Six. shot it off glass. Ball's kind of knocked loose, picked up by the Tigers, and Lindsey gets it across center stripe to Johnson. A minute 57 to play in the first. Johnson to the... Lane puts it up, no good. Rebound, we're going to have a foul, I believe, on Johnson. Second one on Ellison. Nice drive by Ellison. Tried a little hook shot there, didn't get it to go. Committed a foul. 16-6 to six is our score with a minute 52 to play in the first. Casey Kells in the game and Mario Ramirez. Mario Ramirez, Johnson and Boswell out for the Tigers. Inbound pass comes to McChesney. Maggie McChesney, a freshman, Matt. Yeah, she's a good one. She leads the Rams in scoring, 13 points per game. Nice behind the back. Siebenecker's going to – they got their feet tied up. Siebenecker's whistled for the foul. Is that Emily's first? That would be their second, maybe. I have, her for, I have it for her first. Okay. And, the that, M and that's a fourth team foul in Red Oak. Lydia Foose will put it into play again from the baseline for the Rams. All the way out top it goes, then back around to the right side. Hughes for three. Lauren Hughes, shots no good. Rebound, chase down. Nice job by Kohler. Out on the left side to Smith. 
In the corner goes to McChesney, back to Smith. McChesney on the move with the ball now top of the key. She skips it down to Hughes in the corner. Smith on the left wing into the foul line, kicks it right side to Smith, and she puts, I'm sorry, Kohler. She puts it up, no good, Tigers ball. Minute 16 to play in the first, 16-6 is our score. Inside, Kells has it knocked loose and picked up. There's Maggie Chesney. Good for two, the layup. With the steal and a live ball turnover, and then the Tigers throw ball out of bounds. They're looking, so it'll be Rams basketball again here. But McChesney with seven points already, taking that turnover and converting it into points. 18 to 6 is our score. The uh, three E's have been there for the Tigers the energy, enthusiasm, and effort. As they have, uh, we've seen that here tonight in this first quarter, and that's what Coach Johnson's looking for. Out top of the key. There's the freshman, McChesney. Wow. wow. She can really, Three. She's a ball player, let me tell you. It's good. 21 to 6 is the score with 52 seconds playing the first. Pressure in the backcourt from the Rams. Kells across the center stripe, bounces it off of the Rams, picked up by Mario Ramirez. She takes it down to the blocks, and then she's tied up. Probably should have been a, a kick technically on the Rams there, but they didn't call it. But anyway, it'll be Tiger basketball here underneath the bucket. 21-6, 40 seconds. Timeout here. Well, the 30-second timeout, I think. So can we add an E? Can we add excitement? <laughs> excitement. You had I got it mixed up. What, what am I saying? Energy, effort, enthusiasm, energy, effort. There's about there's three or four E's. Let's not say it that way. <laughs> but, uh, but they have brought it. Maybe five. Maybe five. Depending but, on how you spell things. But they have uh, – We've comparing this to what we saw Tuesday night in Atlanta or Tuesday yeah. afternoon Atlanta. Much more engaged team in the effort Absolutely. here. And, Absolutely, uh, showing scrap and battle, and that's that's what you want to see here uh, for the Tigers. I think one thing on their two-three zone for the Tigers, I think there's a propensity to overhelp a little bit. You notice the Tigers will really rotate over on one side and collapse them. I think a little bit more spacing on that zone defense, not give up, not help so much, because when they swing that ball the other side. Often that other that three shots wide open. So maybe Coach Johnson's talking about maintaining your kind of your range on that two-three zone. All right, here we go. Eval pass from Boswell, the baseline to Kells. She puts up the six-footer, no good. Rebound brought down by Lauren Hughes. She takes it left to right, down to, the, to Nanfito. Hughes top of the key with the ball, right side to McChesney. Good defense there by Olivia to shut down the drive. Nanfito. Down the corner it goes to Kohler. See, too much and, rotation there. That's some timeout. And you leave McChesney open. She's going to take it. Many times she's going to hit it. Ten seconds. 21-6 is the score. Kells, Boswell, foul line to Lindsay. Shot goes up from Kells. Goes out of play with just about a second and a half to play I need in the first. one of those uh, – Replays where I can draw on the screen. Can can we enhance our you KCSI are? technical budget and you give me the, like the John Madden used to do days? Uh-huh. You know the X's and O's. Yes, <laughs> the three quarter length shot. The technology is there, man. Mm-hmm. Twenty one to six is the score at the end of the first. Glenwood with the lead, and we'll take a break and be back with the second quarter right after this. To Red Oak, varsity girls play. Glenwood leads 21-6 at the end of the first. Glenwood's ball. Out on the left side to Nanfito, left wing in the corner. It goes to Arnold, Danica Arnold. Arnold to McChesney. There's Arnold in the corner. Inside to Hughes, Nanfito. 
I'm sorry, McChesney for three. She's good. 13 points on the night already for McChesney. Boswell to Ramirez. Has it stripped, stripped loose by McChesney and picked up by Arnold. Down underneath the Hughes. It's knocked loose. Goes out of play. Tiger basketball. Tiger ball. Goodman really kind of coming more aggressively now in this press, going one, two, two tight full court press here. Really inbounds, double trapping right here. And it's right, right. Create the turnover, man. Yeah, Tiger step on the baseline there, so turnover. Really bringing that press up very much in the front court here. So a lot of times you just see one or two players, but Brands committed almost four players in that front court on that press there. Inbound pass to McChesney, little jumper up, no good. Rebound tapped. Jump ball. Foose and Boswell tie up. Be real basketball. Boswell put a play. Again, here's that press right there. Inbound pass to Ramirez. Tigers need to work the middle of the court. Boswell. And then Fido steps in, knocks it out of play, and the Tigers are going to keep it. There's one key pass usually that you got to get into the middle of the court, Aaron. Once you do that, that kind of relieves the pressure. But it's hot, tough to get that pass in that middle player that comes in there. Tigers, uh, Ramirez with the ball, gets it to Johnson across the timeline. Nice job by Arnold to get down and get in front of her. Johnson to the baseline, out to Ramirez now, right wing. Ramirez with the ball, skips it across to Siebenecker, top of the key to Boswell, over to Ellison Johnson. There's Ramirez, picks up the dribble. Johnson in the lane, goes right underneath the basket to Ramirez. It's stripped loose, out of play, Tiger, or I'm sorry, Rams ball. Tigers got in in the lane a little bit too deep there underneath the bucket, so we're not able to get a shot off. McChes McChesney over left side to Nanfito. Out on the left wing, down to the baseline. It goes to Arnold, Danica Arnold. Now to Nanfito. There's Hughes for three, baseline left, and she drops it. She's able to square up and really have a nice look at that bucket there from the corner. Lauren Hughes. Lauren Hughes with eight points on tonight. 27 to six is our score, Rams lead. And you can see the Tigers are trying to make their way up along the sideline on this press there, and that's not going to get it done. They've got to get the ball in the middle here. And usually and that's a bounce pass. Boswell will put it into play to Ramirez. A lot of pressure here. Right here, someone's got to go to the middle. Ramirez gets it across the center stripe for the Tigers. Out on the right side, Ramirez to Johnson. Out near the sideline, she takes it to the baseline on the right side, back to Ramirez, but it's tapped loose by Hughes. Tigers need to look some back cuts here. Cuts to the middle of the floor. Move away from your off-ball defender. Inbound pass to Boswell. At the top of the key, Boswell down the left side of the lane, puts up the shot while... Traveling down the lane goes out of play. Tigers will keep it. Last touch by the Rams. Inbound pass from Ramirez at the baseline. Merced Ramirez trying to find the open Tiger. Gets it, well, I should say, tries to get it to Siebenecker. It's knocked out of play by Nanfito. Yeah, really, back cuts are really would work here for the Tigers. They can make that back cut because the Rams are really overplaying on the wings. Inbound pass into the lane. To Boswell, but it's knocked loose. Nanfito again. Johnson and Nanfito tie up. Rams ball. We've had a lot of jump balls, Aaron. Over and under on jump balls are about 32 for the first half, would you say, over and under? <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> 5.50 to play in the half. 27 to 6 is our score. Rams lead. There's McChesney. Out to Hughes, over the left side to Nanfito, behind the arc, top key to Hughes, right side McChesney. She's wide open for the three. And, and like I said, there's a little bit too much, I mean, a little too much over rotation there de defensively to the Tigers. When you get quick side-to-side -side ball movement, they're going to beat that every time if you don't space a little bit better. And there's the ball on the sideline, knocked out of play. Tigers will keep it. 5.22 to play in the half, 30-6 to six is the score. There's a tendency you want to help as a defender. You want to go over and help your teammate, but really – You've got it in that zone. You, you can't overcommit because then you leave an open spot on the floor and good teams will find it, and that's what the Rams are doing. And Coach Rasmussen pulls him out of the full court press. Right side to Ramirez. There's a good ball move by the Tigers. Kells, the baseline, puts up the jumper, hits the rim, no good. Rebound brought down by Foos. Foos to Hughes. Back to Foos. Right side to McChesney. <laughs> 
Kind of loses the handle on it, goes out of play. I think assistant coach Carter Bruce got a hand in on that one. I don't know. <laughs> I think he did. <laughs> Inbound pass to Ramirez. Cross center stripe. Ramirez with the ball. Top of the key. Right side kills. Again, there's that trap, Matt, right there. Yeah, and that's not a place the Tigers want the basketball to go along the sidelines. No, it's almost like they're funneling, you know, the teams want to funnel you to the sidelines. So, like I said, you've got to cut someone to the middle or have a back cut. Passing will beat that, not dribbling. Kohler comes into the ball game for the Rams. And Foose takes a seat. Rams with the ball. Arnold skips it all the way across the Nanfito out on the left wing. Top key to Hughes. Down in the corner to Arnold. McChesney. Manfito the, skips across to Hughes around all of this behind the arc, too, by the way. Yeah, you know. There's Nanfito for three. No good. And good hustle by Siebenecker. Siebenecker's going for it, but the Rams come away with it. Hughes down underneath it goes to Kohler, and Kohler scores a couple. What kind of Kohler? Yeah, the Rams really don't have a big inside presence like we've seen some other teams have. So, I mean, I really think the Tigers need to shore up that defense on the perimeter on their zone. There's a shot by Olivia. No good. It's going to go. Good kept, hustle. Uh, Ramirez keeps it in play. It's picked up by Arnold. She pushes across the center stripe. Into the lane. Bounce pass right underneath the McChesney. Well played by the Rams. Rams hustle down the court. Get the bucket. 34-6 is the score with 3.43 to play in the half. Out on the right side to Kells. There's a cut to the middle. That's a good idea right there. Left side to Siebenecker for three. Blocked. It was blocked by McChesney and picked up by Kohler. Now to McChesney on the right wing. She comes around the arc. Hughes, top of the key. Hughes with the ball, sets the play right to McChesney. Pressure from Siebenecker. McChesney takes it into the lane. A little jumper off balance, puts it up. No good. Rebound, Ramirez. Boswell to Siebenecker. Inside to Johnson for the Tigers. She spins, blocked by Lauren Hughes. A little pump fakes. Those are something you learn when you play the game. Get your defender up in the air. You can move around them. Arnold takes it to the hoop with the left hand. It's no good. And Tigers come away with it. Boswell right down the sideline, all the way to the baseline, and it's going to be tapped loose. And Kohler picks it up. It was tapped by Hughes and picked up by Kohler. Kohler down to the left wing. Top of the key to Hughes over to the left side to Nenfito for three. It's no good. Rebound. Hughes all the way back out behind the arc. Some long rebounds have gone the Rams' way here in this first half. Top of the key. McChesney down to the blocks, puts it up, and scores two more. Well, that's a tough shot. Man. She didn't really have the angle to use the glass, so she kind of did a little hook shot there and got it to go. 36 20, to 20 points for McChesney, Aaron. Yeah. 36 points, she has 20, and she's just a freshman. There's good ball swing by the Tigers. There's good ball movement side to side. Right, but it's blocked by Hughes. Hughes then chases it down at the baseline, but bounces it out of play. 36 to six is our score. We're getting a whole bunch of subs in now. The game. 36 to six. Wingfield's wing uh, is it Grace Wingfield number 12. Grace Which Grace Wingfield into the game as well as Mariel Ramirez and Jade Lindsay back in for the Tigers. So you have Boswell and R two Ramirez is out there. Merced will put it into play. She hits Lindsay. Yeah. Lindsay's oh. fouled on the play. Almost had a chance for a and one there. That oh. foul was called on Maggie Smith. Jaden has a couple yeah. of times now really had good positioning where she sealed off her opponent, and she did it there on the inbounds pass and got her to the line where she knocks down the first one. Yeah, first shot from Lindsay is good. So much of the girls' basketball game is getting position. Uh, where you need to be to be able to seal your opponent off, whether it's rebounding or, in that case, getting a low post feed to score. Second shot's no good. Rebound Ramirez. Minute 58 to play in the half. Shot from Boswell. Three-pointer, Olivia. Olivia with her first three-pointer. She's a pretty good three-point shooter on here for the Tigers. All right, side to Nanfito. Back to McChesney. She swings around the left side to Shaw. Nanfito. McChesney. Down to the baseline, it goes to Smith for three. <laughs> Maggie Smith. Yeah, just good ball movement, good spacing there by the Rams as well. 39 to 10 is our score with a minute 26 to play in the half. Rams lead here in varsity girls play. 
Boswell down to the block. She has it stripped loose. Jump ball. It's going to be called a jump ball. Smith and Boswell tie up. Thought maybe Olivia drew a foul there, but they're going to call a tie up, so they'll be stay with the Tigers here. A minute 18 to play in the half. So we're going to have the. This has been a really fast first half of has. basketball. So we have Caden Wingfield, and so we have two Wingfields, two Ramirez's, and a Lindsay out there for the Tigers. Inbound pass comes to Grace Wingfield. Top of the key, Grace Wingfield to Mariel Ramirez. Shoot it. She takes the two. Good shot. Get in there. It's no good. Rebound, Merced Ramirez. She tries to go back out top of the key. But it's going to go into the backcourt, and we're going to have over and back. I like the fact, though, that Jaden Lindsay chased down that ball because she prevented a layup by the Rams. Good hustle there by Jaden Lindsay. Minute two to play in the half, and it's 39 to 10. Rams lead. Shaw with the ball over the left side. Baseline left to Smith. Back to Kohler. Shaw to Kohler. Smith in the corner. Drives in. She is fouled on the play. That looked like a jump ball to me. You let the official know about it too, man. Well, they've been big on jump balls. That looked like a jump ball to me. <laughs> Not that when it's 39 to 10 that Matt, it really matters. Play on, Matt. This is a play on. Shot. From Smith is good. Uh, I thought the Tigers did a good job there in that zone defense, though, Aaron. They spaced better on that 2-3 and converged when they needed to converge. 40-10 to 10 is the score. Did the second one go? Yes, it, it did. did. As a matter of fact, Maggie Smith picks them 46 up. 46 seconds to go here in a half. Left side it goes. That was Wingfield to Wingfield. Caden to Grace to Ramirez. It's Merced Ramirez. End of the lane she goes. There's a Knocked loose. Picked up by Nanfito. She takes it down, puts it up, and Wingfield steps on the baseline. Good, 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 good effort Wingfield. there by Grace to get back and to challenge that shot. Yeah. Only one foul in each team this quarter. Yeah, it's been a very fast quarter. Inbound pass comes from Kohler right underneath, and Nanfito has it stripped loose and picked up then by Smith. Out to Kohler for three off the right side. It's no good. Rebound. Shao with the ball. Out to Nanfito for three and in, in and out. out. No good. Rebound, Mariel. And we're going to have a foul. I'm sorry, Merced. And the foul is on Kohler. McKenna so Kohler. Nine seconds to go here. We'll see if the Tigers get a shot off here before the buzzer. 41 to 10. Eight seconds, Ramirez with the ball across the center stripe. Kicks it out to Mariel. There's Grace Wingfield, or Caden Wingfield, sorry. And that's going to do it for the first half, 41 to 10 in the first half. And we will be right back with some stats right after this.
getting ready to dash for cash to our online listeners. And you're enjoying your National Popcorn Day popcorn. National popcorn. It's National I Popcorn am, Day. It's I National am. Popcorn Day. Here. Now, try that mic. It's National, it's National Popcorn Day. Uh-huh. And yeah. we're getting ready to dash for cash. Jeff Siebenecker. Uh-huh. Is he here? Is he He's here? here, but I think he maybe gone had gone to the restroom. Oh. <laughs> so we're waiting. We're uh, we're waiting. Are you getting some Jeff. popcorn? Maybe some? he's you know well I, they announced it to the gym. Oh, they <laughs> did. Where he was. Oh, they did announce it to the gym. So well, you just announced it to everybody here. So <laughs> we're just waiting on Jeff. All right. Well. Yeah. It is National it's, Popcorn. It's yeah. also National Cork Day. I understand. So. And. Uh, so thanks to everybody watching online. We're gonna bring our. I'm losing my pot. Matt, did you know it's National Popcorn Day? Is it? I can't hear you. M- muted me. I did mute you. Uh, That's a great thing. If you start talking, if you get out of line, I'm just gonna turn your mic down. I know. Yeah. You, That's you what I'm gonna do. Probably p- people would appreciate that if you would just I'm continue turn to it down. do it. Turn it down. There's, there's celebrities walking in the house now. All right. Quick. Well, we're gonna bring this back and then uh, cover some stats here at halftime. Glenwood with the lead. 41 to 10, 41 to 10 and a half. And we're going to grab our radio audience, everybody watching online. Thanks for uh, joining us. We appreciate it. And uh, Glenwood pretty much controlled the first half here, 41 to 10, as they have been in control of the ball game. Now, welcome back to everyone on KCSI 95.3. Here in the first half, you have Lydia Foose with one point, one of two from the foul line. Maggie McChesney, 20 points here in the first half and two of two from the foul line. Lauren Hughes, eight points, and that includes two three-pointers for Lauren. McKenna Kohler with two points. Also, Nayla Nanfito with three points. Danica Arnold has two, and Maggie Smith with five points. And Maggie is two of two from the foul line and five points. Glenwood with the lead, 41 to 10, and we'll be back after this. Red Oak dash for cash ongoing. The young man was close. Money's on the table. You got to get it. Money's on the floor. He was close, but no cigar. Who was our contestant? Who was the young man? Do we know? No. No. 41 to 10 is the score. At halftime, Glenwood with the lead with 420 to play. I'm sorry, 420 remaining in half. For the Red Oak Tigers, Jaden Lindsay with five points, one of two from the foul line. Olivia Boswell, three points. That's a three-pointer in the second quarter. And Emily Siebenecker with two points for the Red Oak Tigers. Glenwood with the lead, 41-10 to 10 here at halftime. Yeah, just what we've seen a lot from these Tiger girls basketball games will be a heavy court press the first quarter and a half. The other team will get up quite a bit, and then they kind of back off on that press. So I imagine the second half will have a running clock, of course, for probably here in a bit. And then uh, they'll probably be 
no press from the Rams. So, But I do think the Tigers showed, uh, like I said, that energy and enthusiasm in that first half. There was much more scrap for the ball rebounding-wise. I thought they made some good efforts there defensively. And But Rams, to their credit, you know, this is a good, solid program. This is a team, like we said, Aaron, that has been in the state tournament. Yeah. Four consecutive years, so you know you think you lose all the star players, but this is a really solid Rams team that's going to finish in the top three or four of the conference this year, and and you can tell by their ball movement and the way they play that they're a very solid team. And of course, that freshman oh. Maggie Manchesky, Manchesky, Manchesky tw- twenty points. I mean, she's you know I don't know if they have a, such a thing as a freshman of the year award in the conference, but I would hardly think there's any better freshman than her in the conference this year. She's a good ball player, that is for sure. Forty-one to ten is our score at half. We're going to step away, and we'll be back with the second half right after this. to Red Oak Orange Gymnasium halftime varsity girls play Glenwood leads 41 to 10 Matt yeah you know it's a like I say this will probably be a uh, running clock for most of that second half here but these are valuable halves for the Tigers because they have an opportunity to work on their skills of basketball so you know the scoreboard just don't worry about it play your game work on those things you need to work on and, and use this half as a real productive uh, chance to improve your basketball skills so we well, should note that one of the assistant coaches for the Glenwood Rams is Shenandoah great Logan Hughes. She yep. is on the bench, and one reason she's there is her former Shenandoah assistant coach uh, Beekman is also an assistant coach for Glenwood. So almost didn't recognize Logan there because uh, someone you used to seeing in Shenandoah colors, but she's sitting there in her Glen- Glenwood Ram. I remember – Coaching a outfit. A lot of good basketball oh, games with Logan man. Hughes through the years. Logan would come to the Y quite a bit, especially during the COVID time, and work out and every day. She, and her and her sister. I mean, she worked out in a routine uh, for an hour, cutting, moving, passing, and uh, I think she went to Missouri Western, and then wound up transferring. I think the Purdue State or maybe Wayne State to finish out her collegiate career. Rams with the balls. We're back to action here, McChesney. Comes around to the top of the key, goes right to Lauren Hughes for three. It's no good. Rebound underneath. Danica Arnold spins this out of play, and the Rams will keep it. 
Ramirez with the block there, Merced. Tiger, or I'm sorry, Rams ball. Arnold will put it into play right under the basket. There's McChesney. She's open for three. Doesn't go. Rebound, Lindsay. Good job by Jaden there. Tigers with the ball. Ramirez out to Boswell. Ellison Johnson in the Looks corner. like the Rams are going man to man here rather than their full their half court trapping. Down to the baseline. Siebenecker puts it up. No good. Rebound. Nanfito. Nanfito right to left across center stripe out on the right wing. Then down to the corner. It's Arnold's chased down by Hughes. Nanfito. And there's that ball rotation, that shot right there, but she passed it inside that time. Foose puts it up off the glass, inside no good. Rebound Ramirez. Merced to Olivia Boswell, now to Ramirez. Out on behind the arc, drives to the foul line, kicks it to Boswell. Underneath the Ramirez, but McChesney steps in and knocks it out of play. Good idea there by Olivia to look inside. Good defense there by the Rams, but Tigers had the right idea. Ramirez will put it into play. 6.37 to play in the third, 41 to 10. Rams lead. Inbound pass to Lindsay. Left side of the lane, top the key to Johnson. Right side, Siebenecker behind the arc. She drives down to the blocks, puts up the little jumper. It's in for two. Nice aggressive drive there by Emily. She gets it to go. McChesney, end of the lane, blocked by. Lindsay picked up by Ramirez. Good. Lindsay stood her ground and just went straight up. Didn't get the foul, but got the block. That's the way you do it. Boswell to Ramirez, right side to Siebenecker. Underneath to Lindsay. She puts it up. No good. Rebound brought down by Hughes. Lauren Hughes. She pushes it quickly right to left. Out on the left side to Arnold. Arnold takes it down underneath, all the way underneath. To Nanfito out on the right wing. It's good for three. Yeah, that was Arnold with that penetration and the kick out. And a three ball there from the Rams. 44 to 12 out on the right side. Siebenecker for three. In and out. No good. Rebound. Foos. Out the pass goes to Nanfito. Bounce pass. Hughes for two. Nice shot there by Nanfito. She came in hard and in the last minute made the pass to her teammate. 46 to 12 now. Rams lead with 526 to play in the third. And we are. Almost in that running clock situation. Siebenecker down underneath to Ellison Johnson. She's double teamed, dumps it off to Lindsay. Nice move to the bucket by Jaden Lindsay. That was a nice cut by Jaden. She recognized she had an open space to cut to, and she went to it and got the pass from Ellison. And McChesney from the left elbow puts it up. I think it may be partially blocked. Yeah, I think Siebenecker got a hand in on that. It's going to be Red Oak basketball, they're saying, so. Yeah, Tigers ball. A little substitution taking place here. Ramirez will put it into play to Boswell. Like the Tigers' energy here, this opening the second half here, competing hard. Ramirez to Boswell out on the left side. Out to Ramirez, top of the key. Good baseline pass. to good. Johnson. Ah, good cut, good pass there. Just couldn't get it to go down. Smith, Maggie Smith out on the right wing for three. Nope, rebound Ramirez. Good job by Merced. She rips that ball away. I like to see that from Merced. Siebenecker, right side, standing on the three-point line. Drives down to the baseline, shot, six-footer, no good. Rebound, Smith. Maggie Smith with the board. She's a good ball player, Matt, sophomore. Yeah, absolutely. They got they, they have talent. They uh, have a very good deep program. Rebounds pulled down by Boswell for the Tigers. Olivia takes it and then to Siebenecker in the corner. It's a quick pass there and rotate over. Ramirez comes around to the right side, goes back left to Siebenecker. Ramirez in the lane, high post. and Spins, takes it to the hoop, puts it up. Lindsay with the board. She's double teamed back yes. up and in for two. Jaden Lindsay, good job there on the offensive glass, getting the bucket. She'll have a chance for an and one there. And I'm trying to see Jaden with seven points on the night. Yeah, Kohler with the foul. Yeah, that's, I think that might be nine for Lindsay. It is nine, nine for Jaden. Nine. This is, um, she's been to the line one other time tonight. She's one of two from the foul line in the ball game. Jaden is. Shot is good. Nice job by Jane. She's in double digits now, 10 points. And it's 46 to 17, Rams lead. Down the corner to 
Hughes, but Ramirez does a nice job knocking it loose and then stealing it. Really good job there by Miss Sitch. She anticipated that pass and scrapped for it. Boswell takes it across the center stripe. It's Ellison Johnson. She takes Get it to the there. hoop and is fouled. Tiger's really playing much better here in the second half. You know, when you don't have to worry about that press, Aaron, and you can just come up and play your normal offensive set. But you can see the ability of the Tigers. You know, that's what I'm saying, working on that ball handling and working on those passing because they're going to have to defeat that press mm -hmm. uh, to, to become a basketball program. You've got you to, you know, when I say defeat that, you've got to be able to handle that because when they get in a half-court game like this, they're pretty solid. They run some good sets and get some shots here. But Maggie Smith comes out of the ball game, and Tally Ostrander checks into the ball game for the Rams. Ellison Johnson's second shot is up. It's good. Ellison knocks down the free throws, so good for her. And the Rams have the ball. Tigers yeah. is a little bit different look zone, bringing Siebenecker out higher on that 1-2-2 two, two type zone, really out front to try to disrupt that perimeter passing. Nanfito takes it to the baseline. Hughes for three. It's but good. One thing that does is that opens the corners a little bit there and for shots and Glenwood does such a good job finding those open spots. They did that there. Left side to Siebenecker out on the left wing. Now tap, stolen. Nanfito with the left hand. You bet. It's good. Left hand layup. You got to like that, Aaron. 51 to 18 is our score with 2.59 to play in the third. Rams lead. Whose birthday is it today in the Tigers? Mariel. Mariel Ramirez. Mariel Ramirez. Ramirez. That's Merced's little sister. Double team on Johnson. She gets it to Boswell. Inside it goes to Lindsay. Oh, good pass out by Jaden. And nice job by Ellison to take it to the hoop. And I liked all that there, just getting it go. Get another good scrap there. Three-pointer from Siebenecker is no good. Rebound Lauren Hughes for the Rams. Out to try to go to Ostrander. And a little miscommunication goes out of play. Really like what the Tigers have done here in this quarter, Aaron. They it, you know, it's – a lot more intensity than what we have seen. Man. Yeah, yeah. I like to say the, the effort. Don't worry about the scoreboard. You're threes. You're three. Don't worry about. Yeah. Give effort every uh, possession, and uh, and that's what. She, there's a good cut by Casey to the middle of the court. Kells for three. She puts it up. I may have been partially blocked. Ostrander fighting for the board. And, and that's what I like to see when you're scrapping for the loose balls, and you're. Those are the things that indicate there's effort there. You're not giving up on it. You're down on the floor trying to dig for that ball. 2-10 to play in the third. 51-18 is our score. And the Tigers have the ball underneath. It's Mariel Merced. Three-pointer from Siebenecker is no good. Rebound Hughes. Lauren good. Hughes with the board. Good look there. Emily stepped into it. Just rattled out. Right side it goes. Shaw puts it off the glass. No good. Rebound. Lindsay. We have a foul on Lauren Hughes, I believe. I don't know, Jane's going to be pretty close to a double-double here. She's got 10 points. I bet she's close to 10 rebounds, so she's putting together a really nice effort tonight. First foul on Lauren Hughes. Another timeout here by the Tigers. We'll take it with them, 51-18, to 18, a minute 55 to play in the third, and we'll be back after this. Fifty-one eighteen is our score. Rams in control of the ball game, and they really have been since the opening tip. But Matt, the Red Oak Tigers look much better than they did against Atlantic the other day. Yeah, and you, we look at the girls' Red Oak Tiger team a little bit differently through different lens. I think than maybe most teams might, because we're looking for development of skill level and that sort of stuff. So, you know, the scoreboard yeah. is really not as important this year as it is 
how we're playing. Chow with the steal. And there's a good steal by the Rams. She's going to take it. She lost the handle <laughs> yeah. on it. Got called for the, so I think she made the she, shot. She did make it. She just kind of took a little extra step there at the end. So, called traveling on that. So Great effort. Good, good effort and, coming into the ball game is Schultz, and Chow takes the seat. But it'll be interesting to see where this Glenwood team winds up in the year because, like I said, they've got a talented team, you know, with Arnold and McChesney and uh, Hughes. They're going to be right there, a very formidable team in the Hawk 10. And I well, think they have – I think they have a – I know the boys have a game tomorrow. I don't know if the girls do or not. I know the Glenwood boys have to go into Omaha to play a game against some team tomorrow Matt, when tomorrow you were, morning at 9 a.m. Ooh, when you were in school, Matt, did you ever not get a game in? Yeah, we actually, I think my junior, we just, you know, because they, did, of scheduling they didn't reschedule because it's just too much stacked up, and there's a good steal by Casey Kells. Casey's one that always gives you effort. Yeah. Ramirez with the ball at the top of the key, out to Boswell. There's Ramirez. That's Merced Ramirez, I should say. Mariel is on the court as well. It's going to be tapped and stolen, coming away with, it. I think, Schultz. Schultz with the ball to Hughes. She keeps it in play, but Kells. there's Kells again. Casey Kells on the floor, diving for that loose ball. And back into the game is Shaw taking a seat. You know, Lauren Hughes. We, we talked about Casey. She is a tremendous soccer player. And soccer is, if you think soccer is a non-contact sport, you are misguided because that is a pretty rough and tough sport. And Casey Kells you know, is all over soccer. Soccer is one of those sports that just, it amazes me the growth in, that you see in soccer. Yeah. We're, that is a very popular sport. So, it's, Kay, it's Casey's true. dad, Mark Kells, of course, is the shot by Shower. Good head coach for soccer. And it's 53 18, 32 seconds. Oh, played. nice play by Casey. Thought she might got fouled on that drive, but she got the bucket to go Casey off the picks, glass. Casey picks up a couple for the Tigers. 23 seconds to play in the third. 53 to 20 is our score. There's Smith, Long deep three. three. Deep three. A no look, good. Kind of a Caitlin Clark three there. Mario Ramirez again. Scrapping for the ball. Have you tried the Caitlin Clark cereal? No. You haven't? No. I don't buy anything <laughs> now related you be, to you, Hawks. You be a cyclone. You should try that, Matt. I tried this. Boswell for three. No good. Seven seconds and counting. Chased down by Lindsay. There is Shao to show oh. blocked by Lindsay <laughs> as time expires. Nice hustle Old by Jaden Lindsay getting back. Scrap there. Roll it. 53-20 at the end of the third. We're going to take a break. We'll come back for the fourth right after this. and help with down there and someone someone is down there organizing them. I gotta do that here at the end of this game. Out on the left side to Nanfito. Back across McChesney for three. No good. Rebound Arnold. Actually Ramirez and Arnold. Mario Ramirez and Danica Arnold tied up. We are in a running clock situation now. And the inbound pass will come from Boswell to Ramirez, Mar Merced Ramirez. Top of the key, Merced with the ball. Right side, Boswell back to Merced. Left side to Caden Wing or Grace Wingfield. To Boswell, Merced Ramirez into the foul line to Mari L. Ramirez. It's stripped by McChesney, and McChesney has it with the left-handed layup. 
She went with that she, left hand. I think she was she, trying to practice, my I think guess. she was, actually. Here comes the Tigers with the ball. That I was like that, though. She's challenging herself. Field. I like that. She was wide open, Matt. Oh, and There's Merced to the bucket for two. Really good take there by Merced. And it's 53-22, 6.49 to play in the ball game. And Fido with the ball. Down the corner, it goes to Arnold. Skips it across to McChesney. She turns the shot down. Out to Nanfito. McChesney, she's open for three. Into lane she goes. Little jumper right in front. It's good. I like the fact that McChesney seems to be wanting to work on her game. She knows she could have took those two threes, but she didn't want to settle for that. So she took a drive there and got the layup, and that's her first two points of the second half here. And the steal by McChesney. She hands it off to Hughes. Down to the other end, and Fido's pretty much wide open for the bucket, easy bucket right underneath. Yeah, Tigers, that's one thing they need to work on in the offseason, getting back up and down the court better. Transition defense, transition offense. 57-22 to 22 is our score. Glenwood leads with six minutes to play in the ballgame. Three from Boswell's no good. Chase down in the corner. Nice job there by Grace Wingfield. She's double teamed, and the Rams come away with it. Down to the other end, there's McChesney. She uses the right hand this time. Good for two. Nice play there by the Rams, 59-22. Ram, 540 to play in the Rams quarter. still with them, their starters out here. I'm interesting here in the fourth quarter. I, I don't think they should be in the game too much longer, I wouldn't think. And then Fido again takes it down, and there's McChesney. She picks up a couple more. Man, she's a freshman. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, is that uh, that is remarkable. Yeah, I'm, I think I think the starters are in just because they're low on numbers and Probably yeah. the reserves are getting a little tired, so they had to put the starters back in. There goes the three-pointer from Wingfield. Grace Wingfield, it's no good. Down to the other end quickly, Nanfito to McChesney, and McChesney with two yeah, more. Rams That's are just, just beating the Tigers down the court, and I think the refs are going to call timeout here to let all these subs that Glenn was going to take out. we got a whole big Bringing all their second here. stringers, but, yeah, that's just beating the Tigers down the court there. We're going to have a time. Are we having a No, they just, they're just letting the subs come in and out. Okay. All right. I think we are ready. Natalie. It's kind of like it's kind of like my uh, YMCA youth games. It's just kind of substitute on the fly. Is that what you do, it's man? It's like hockey. Over, hey, you're over an official list. too, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, you're a – was it second or third grade? You yeah. You doing some officiating? It was, uh, it was like herding cats, and I was not doing a good job. <laughs> Good steal there be. by – or actually hands the – yeah, actually a steal to create a turnover there by Mario Ramirez. Yeah, that's third grade. They've never played a, really an organized game before, so how to inbounds the ball, where to line up, it's all new. And that's great. You're learning the game of basketball. That's what it's about. But it you could – you could what some gray hair. I started the game with pretty much half gray hair. By the end of the game, I had a full head of gray hair. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. That's how you learn, Matt. That's mm -hmm. how those young folks Very learn excited. And, and develop and hopefully get a love for the game a lot at that of, point. A lot of screaming from the parents. Uh, you know, you have multiple directions <laughs> what to do coming at you all the time. Go here, go there, do this. <laughs> Foul brought down by Shao. It's going to be tapped by Wingfield. Good hustle there by Wingfield. Grace. Good hustle by Siebenecker. Oh, Siebenecker on the court. Got the fumble she recovery for the Tigers on the 10. <laughs> Grace Wingfield to Johnson. Ellison Johnson out on the right side to Natalie Johnson. Oh, she little. drives to the bucket. It's fouled on the play. Nice job by, by Natalie Johnson. Natalie has been in the YMCA. And her mom, I see her in there shooting hoops at the YMCA during the day, during the week. And it's paying off here. Natalie looks much more confident. Knocks, nice shot there by knock, Natalie. Knocks down the free throw. Natalie is just a freshman. So, man, that boy's well for the Tigers. It seems like she has a real joy for the game of basketball. Makes the second shot. Get some votes. That is good to see. But, you know, you got Natalie Johnson as a freshman. You got Mario Ramirez as a freshman. You got Elson Johnson as a sophomore. Emily Siebenecker as a sophomore. So, this is a very young Tiger team. These girls stay at it and they work at it. Man, I can tell you what, the program can change quickly like that if you get a core group of kids that are really invested in one to make themselves better. And there's a chance for the Tiger girls to make some progress here next year or two. Knocked out of play by the Rams. Tigers will maintain possession. And like Matt said earlier, a continuous clock situation now with the Rams uh, up 63-24. to 24. Inbound pass to Siebenecker out on the left wing. Now to Johnson, Ellison Johnson, I should say. 
Wingfield has it knocked loose. Chased down by Ostrander. Johnson. It's on the floor. And Wingfield to Wingfield there. Grace Wingfield takes it down to the baseline and goes out of play, but the Tigers will keep it. More substitutions taking place. 2.20 to play in the ballgame and counting. 63-24. Tigers ball. Ellison Johnson will put it into play for Red Oak. Ellison all the way out to Siebenecker. Pressure from Ostrander. Hands it off to Natalie Johnson. Now to Siebenecker. To Caden Wingfield. Out to Casey Kells on the left wing. Man pressure here, Matt, from the Rams. We're going to have a foul. Chow. Maya Chow. That's her first. Haley Ryber coming in the game now for the Tigers. Casey Kells is doing a little tap dance over there on the sideline. <laughs> and uh, Kells will and put it into play. Jo Ellison Johnson chases it down the center stripe. Picks up her dribble out on the right wing, trying to find the open Tiger. Inside, it's going to be knocked loose again by Shaw, And then to Ostrander. Ostrander takes it right to left across the center stripe. Down in the corner it goes to Schultz. She drives the baseline. Little jumper, no good. Rebound, Ryberg. Nice job there by Haley. Oh, loose ball there's going to go back to Glenwood. So a minute to go here. The Tigers, uh, Rams will get the W here, and they'll move to 7-4 on here. And it's 50, there's 56 seconds remaining. 63-24 is our score out on the left side to Schultz. They swing it around all the way to the right side now to Hughes. Megan Hughes, that is. You know, one thing about this compressed schedule that all these high school teams are going to have, and there's not a lot of time to reflect on your good, not a lot of time to reflect on your bad game. You just move on to the next Keep game. Moving. Keep moving. Because uh, it's going to come fast and furious here in the next week or two. 30 seconds. Hughes. To Good hands. Shao, knocked loose by Kells. And Casey's really hustles back. And that's, again, I keep going back to soccer, but you're used to getting back in soccer, running up and down that field, and Casey just really hustles everywhere she goes. Impound underneath the Schultz, and we're going to have a jump ball. But, Matt, I do believe that's probably, probably going to do it here, and I think our final score will ultimately be 63-24 to 24, unless we get just a last-second shot here. And that could happen. And there it is. No. 63 to 24 is the final. Rams pretty much controlled that ball game start to finish. And a big win there for the Rams. Quick break. to Red Oak, and I'm joined now, head coach of the Red Oak Tigers, Coach Tristan Johnson. Coach Johnson, first let me say thanks for coming up. A uh, couple of big games this week at First Atlantic and now here with Glenwood, a good Glenwood team. I thought the Red Oak Tigers looked much different than, different than they did in Atlantic the other night. I would agree. Um, I thought we played much better than we did at Atlantic. Uh, I think just we were a little shell-shocked at Atlantic, kind yeah. of. Missed my schedule, um, just the atmosphere, everything. I thought we were a little shell-shocked. I thought we played much better tonight. Um, we still got a lot of work on, but that's a good team. They're, 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 they're much bigger than us, very good team. They're so. a good team, but the girls, I thought, played hard start to finish tonight. They, I saw them on the four scrapping, trying to get loose balls, doing those things that you want them to do, right? Yeah, that's 100% right. We, uh, you know, we talk a lot about getting girls out for basketball, having a little, you know, trying to build a little energy into the program. Yep. But also setting that standard of we have to die for balls on the loose floor. When they're not loose on the floor, yep. we have to die for them. We have to be a hustling team. 
sprint back and forth. And I, I think the girls did a good job tonight. Yeah, and I saw, you know, there at the end of in the second half, you had a lot of younger players in there. The Johnson girls, Natalie Johnson, Ellison Johnson. You got some good things coming, Coach. It, it's just a matter of keeping, like you say, that enthusiasm, building those basketball skills, and then getting all, everyone to come out and play. Yeah, yeah that's 100% right. Um, we, we, we think the world of the, the younger girls we have. Yeah. Uh, we think they're our future. Um, I, I, I wish I would have had these senior girls a little longer, but the, the future is bright if we keep everybody out keep and have, if we, you know, they're, they stick with it, they work in the summer, we're, we're going to be a good team. We just have to, we have to build that, that right team. Now this, the schedule's been a bit interrupted this week and kind of start, stop, no school. Has that been a problem at all or not? Um, I think it, it does play a little bit into it. I mean, the girls are, they, they're, they're teenagers, so they're happy for a no school day, but then they, they have Snow the day. game. Yeah, they're, they're, it's, it's kind of a funky schedule. And, and again, it, it, it's again that way next week. We got four games, and we, get, we don't have school Monday. Um, so yeah. it, it's going to throw a little loop into it, but we'll be all right. We, we just got to battle through it. The next game is when? Who do you have next? Um, we have Monday versus at Sydney. Okay. Oh, and, that's right. And, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully, it'll be a good game for us. And we can get back on the right side of things. So. Very good. Coach, yep. thanks for coming up. Thank you. Head coach of the Red Oak Tigers, Tristan Johnson, with us. Thanks, Coach. at the Orange Gymnasium and again it was Glenwood with the victory 63 to 24 here in Varsity Girls play for the Glenwood Rams you had uh, Lydia Foos with one point Lydia was one of two from the foul line in the ball game Maggie McChesney puts up 28 two of two from the foul line Lauren Hughes with 13 points in the ball game McKenna Kohler wraps up the night with four Maya Shaw two 10 points for Nayla Nanfito Danica Arnold with two points in the ball game, and Maggie Smith finishes with five and two of two from the foul line for Maggie here this evening. For the Red Oak Tigers, Jaden Lindsay in double digits for Red Oak, two of three from the foul line. Jaden ends up with ten points in the ball game. Olivia Boswell three, two points for Natalie Johnson. Casey Kells with two points. Merced Ramirez wraps up the night with two. Ellison Johnson one, one of two from the foul line, and Emily Siebenecker with four points on the night for the Red Oak Tigers, and it is again. In varsity girls play, Glenwood with the victory, 63 to 24. In varsity girls play, take a break.
back to the Orange Gymnasium. Oh, I didn't know what she was talking about. I got, you, I got to turn my – I got to be careful here now, man. Uh, yeah. Okay, Matt, turn to the page. Varsity boys play. Matt, talk to me about, I, I think, potentially a good ball game. Yeah, right absolutely. Matt. I think no doubt about it. Glenwood Rams are 7-4 in the year, a good solid team. Head coach Kurt Schulte come in here and a place playing a Red Oak Tiger team is coming off arguably their biggest – Win of the year in Atlantic on Tuesday. We saw that game up there, and, boy, they played well. But, yeah, this shit has all the makings of being a good game tonight, Aaron. Um, you know, both teams have had a game now since that Christmas break, and so that's good to get that under the belt. So, you know, kind of get a game here in the next couple, two nights with this with this one here will be good for both teams. Interesting thing for this team is, I, you know, we talked a lot about the similarities of Atlantic and Red Oak team. A little bit here in terms of uh, Glenwood and Red Oak, they – uh, I would say Glenwood's probably a little bit more balanced scoring team. Of course, Atlantic was led so much by Colt Rasmussen. But both these teams come in averaging almost 60 points per game. Uh, Glenwood only gives up 53 points a game. Red Oak gives up 68. Field goal percentage shooting-wise, Glenwood 42%. Red Oak 39. Three-point percentage shooting, Glenwood at 28% from the three-line, Aaron, as is Red Oak. But here's the difference, Aaron. Red Oak shot has 293 shots on the three-line. Glenwood only 161, so Tigers, you know, really live on that three line more than Glenwood does. Free throw wise, both teams are pretty good. Free throw shooting teams are around the 60% mark. Rebounds about the same, 32 per team. Steals about the same. Turnovers, fouls, all pretty much the same. So pretty even statistically between these two teams. The Rams are led by senior Caden Anderson, just a tremendous all around athlete. 15 points per game. He's a senior. Uh, and then senior Casey Godbu, 11 points per game, six rebounds. He's our other big leader. And then their third kind of guy that's in the scoring total a lot is junior Aiden Gibson, nine points per game. So, Matt, people may recognize that Godbu name. Yes, that There's is a Red Oak Hall of Famer Mike Godbu's son and the grandson of Ron and Mary Ellen Godbu. I think good Ron, people, good you people. Bet, you bet Ron and Mary Ellen, I think, are either listening or watching tonight the game, watching their grandson play. So, you know, a lot of Red Oak ties on this Glenwood team. Caden Anderson, uh, Anderson family used to live in Red Oak, and there's a lot of Anderson relatives in Red Oak. So two kids on the Glenwood team that have strong Red Oak ties. Absolutely. And a few minutes away from the opening tip here. And if you're in if you're in the Red Oak area, Matt, I would encourage you to come down. This, again, I think you potentially could see a really good high school yeah, basketball I, game here tonight. Know, especially, I think, from the Tigers' perspective, they've got some confidence off that Atlantic win. So, Hopefully, and we saw a competitive. Red Oak has played Glenwood pretty competitively the last couple of years. So, yeah, I, I absolutely think we're going to have a good game here. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with more right after this. Atlanta. Welcome to Red Oak Orange Gymnasium, Varsity Boys Basketball, upcoming Red Oak and Glenwood. Reserves for the Glenwood Rams here this evening, Aiden Gibson, a junior, a 6'5 junior. She's 6'5? Wow. Aiden Gibson, a 6'5 junior. That's yeah. what she's what listed at. Brody Taylor, a senior, 6'4. You have Nolan Mount as a senior, 6'1. Cole, Cole Stout is a freshman, 6'1. Jack Johnson is a sophomore at 6'1". Emmanuel De Palma, 
Emmanuel De Palma is a senior, 6'6". Landon McGoldrick, a junior, 6'3". And Colin Still, a sophomore, 6'3". Those are your reserves for the Glenwood Rams. Starters for the Rams this evening, as Matt alluded to earlier, Caden Anderson, a senior, all-around athlete. Caden Anderson. Yes, all especially, around base, athlete. especially baseball. Yeah, all-around athlete. Good, good. I, I think he's committed to Nebraska to play baseball. I'm getting the nod yes from Mel there. I think, yeah, he's committed to play brass, baseball in Nebraska. Caden Anderson, a six-foot senior. Casey Godbu, a senior, 6'2". Drew Schroeder is a junior, 5'11". Adam Severn is a Severn. Severn is a senior, 6'3", and Peyton Longmire, a senior, 5'10". Those are your starters for the Glenwood Rams. For the Red Oak Tigers, reserves include Brett Erickson, a junior, 5'7", Carson Roeder, a freshman, 5'6". Carson's been playing really good as a Big, freshman here recently. He had a too. huge three in that Atlanta game, yeah. didn't he? Ethan Fouts is sophomore, 6'2", Mason Fisher, a sophomore, 5'8", Landon Gigstad, a junior, 6'4", Reese Montgomery, a freshman, another freshman that's seeing some playing time at 6'4". Tyler Beeson, a senior, 6'4". Weston Kaus is a freshman, 5'9". Brandon Hernandez, a senior, 6'1". Caden Foster, a senior, 6'0". Bennett Johnson, a senior, 6'2". Peyton Eckernaw, a senior, 6'4". And those are your reserves for the Red Oak Tigers. Now, starters for the Tigers, Hunter Gillen had a huge game the other night for the Tigers, senior, 5'8". Brighton Bergeron, senior, 6'3". And Cyrus Minchin, a senior, 6'5". Max DeVries, a senior, 6'4". And Braden Sifford, a junior, 5'10". One thing I would note the other night, or the other day, I should mm-hmm. say, at Atlantic, Brighton Bergeron turned his ankle. Um, he's playing. He actually finished playing that game yeah. that night. He fouled out. But fouled out, but uh, did come back into the game and play. But he's suited up here tonight, ready to go, I he, suppose, Matt. It looks like he's moving halfway decent on it, but it's one of those things that practice isn't the same as game. And, you know, you can re-tweak uh, those ankle injuries pretty easily. But, yeah, it's a good sign, at least here initially, that he's going to give it a start and give it a go. He said he was fine before the game, but... Uh, Did you talk to him, have a chance Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on him, but he's a tough kid. Of course, we know all those Bergeron kids are tough kids. We saw his brother Bader come back from a just a horrendous leg injury to begin the year to play, so uh, there, there are no short of toughage there, but uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that tonight because Brighton is key for that offensive, defensive rebound. He really scraps down there for the Tigers. So, Matt, does an up-tempo game favor one team or the other, or will one team or the other want to control the ball game? Well, like all these games, we'll probably see the first three, four minutes sprint man. by both teams. But, you know, I think as the season goes on, at least in my opinion, I don't know what you think, but I just don't think Red Oak is that kind of – I think they're better when they're not in that I racehorse basketball style. I 100% agree with that. I mean, the Atlantic game was kind of what I thought is the perfect balance. You know, they had some breakouts here there, but I think they're really better when they play a little bit more of a half-court game that's my opinion, but but I don't know. We'll just have to see what the pace of the game is. I, Glenwood Mike's guess is a little bit more up and down team. A hype video going on. We're going to take one more quick break, and we'll be back after these messages.
We have now the uh, YMCA players on the court. Matt, tell me about what age group we're looking here. You got the third through sixth grade program, uh, boys basketball program out here being recognized tonight and just want to give a shout out to the, the players, but more importantly, our coaches, uh, Chloe DeLay, Tiff McCardle, TJ Kennison, Casey Tunnel, Michael Keller, Jeremy DeGarmo, uh, all these folks put in a tremendous amount of time coaching these kids giving up a lot of time dealing with all the weather issues in and out of gyms i mean truthfully it's just amazing that we have such great coaches and they're so invested in helping these kids not just learn the game of basketball aaron but have fun doing it because it's so important especially as young age that their kids are enjoying it because that's how you really get them to want to play yeah. and enjoy the game yeah. and they're right now in the middle of their season they're going to have some games coming up here so just uh, really cool that we've had such a good season this year. Well, you know, Matt, and that's something, too. It takes a lot. You can have all the programs in the world, but you have to have someone to coach. Yeah. You have to have someone there to, to make all that happen. Uh, and those coaches that do that, uh, you know, hats off to them. Yeah, you know, and, and for these kids, that, you know, these young kids, those, those youth coaches are so important because they can really, you know, uh, and, and, work with those kids that get them excited and learn the game and you know not everyone's going to you know wind up being on the tiger varsity basketball team but you know to have a good experience as a sport experience is so important as a young kid that you know you go away from that sport with a good good experience and we've just got really good coaches so very fortunate to have such great volunteer coaches yep and it is uh player introductions and right being now made. right now the youth basketball team was impressed with cyrus minson's backflip that he does on his introduction that got quite the impressive it is, it's fun to watch you know if you haven't seen that and it comes it's not your typical no it's kind of a back layout twist uh, type thing so there you go but here we go we're gonna get ready for some hawkeye 10 conference basketball Aaron, this is gonna be a good one you're gonna have uh, two good solid teams here you just, tonight yeah you hope for a good basketball game here uh this evening in red oak thanks for joining us make note of our sponsors as we move along through the evening here and uh Hope you have made note of our sponsors and say thanks when you have the opportunity. Nice crowd here on hand now, Matt. What's the theme tonight? I see we have safety vests. It might be snowplow night. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, snowplow worker night. I don't know. I'd seem that seem that would be appropriate. Uh, you know, if, if given the time. Did you get up this morning and get your walk done or your? Uh, I got the driveway done. Yes. Before for your the third time this week. All right, at center circle, Caden Anderson for the ti for the Tigers. Cyrus Minson, ball's tapped, chased down by Braden Sifford. Here we go. Gillen with the ball at the top of the key. Around to the right side he goes. Into the lane, puts it off the glass. No good. Rebound underneath. Sifford rings back out top to DeVries. Rams in the man-to-man -man defense. Tigers already with an offensive rebound here. Second chance opportunity. DeVries off the glass, kind of off balance. No good. Two rebound. calls, a drive, not called. Down to the other end, Schroeder is going to be picked up underneath Anderson. Then we have Longmire with the ball out to Anderson. Tigers. There's Longmire center circle. Tigers in man-to-man -man as well. Longmire, round to the right side he goes. Underneath, Anderson tries to go underneath the Godbu, but it goes out of play. Tied by the Tigers, Rams keep it. Inbound pass comes from Schroeder. Schroeder will put it into play at the baseline. Right underneath the Godbu, tapped. Longmire with the ball. Out top key to Anderson, back to Longmire. Over to the left side to Severn. Six seconds on the clock. Deep three. It's good, Caden Anderson. Nice head stroke there from Caden Anderson. He always seems to play well against the Tigers, Aaron. There is uh, Gillen with the ball. Rams lead three, zip, 6.56 to play in the first. Minson to Sifford. Sifford in the lane, out to Gillen, right side, behind the arc. Gillen with the ball, takes it to the hoop, puts it off the glass, in and out, no good. Rebound brought down by Schroeder. Another hard drive by the Tigers there. Longmire to the top of the key, sets the play. Rams looking to maybe control the ball here, Matt. I don't know, seems that way. Godbu in the lane, spins, puts it up. Nice little move by Casey Godbu. Yeah, nice little body control there. Max on the drive now. Tigers back quickly on the, their end. Bergeron to Sifford, 5-0. Rams lead into the lane to Vries. He's off balance, puts it up, draws the foul. He'll go to line for two. That foul's on Anderson. 
Max should get two shots here. Just started, 5-0, Glenwood out on top. Max DeVries at the line. Max a good free throw shooter. Really good shooter in general. This one is good for Max. Max coming in the game averaging 21 points per game. That's second in Hawkeye 10. Of course, he's behind Colt Rasmussen up in Atlantic. Tigers on the board. Max gets them both. Five to two, Rams lead. Longmire will take it left to right across center stripe. Longmire down to the blocks. Then back out top of the key to Anderson. Sippert on Anderson right now. Anderson down to the baseline. Underneath the basket. Tries to bounce it out to Severn, but it's knocked out of play, and the Rams will maintain possession of the ball. Interesting the Coach DeVries assignment on Anderson. Sifford has the quickness to stay with Anderson. Gives up a little bit of size and strength, but he has that quickness to on Anderson. We'll see. have to keep an eye on that, those two as they go at it here. Longmire takes it down to the blocks. Double team, knock loose, foul on the play. He's going to get Sifford there. Nope, calling it on Gillen, actually. Ooh, okay. Hunter maybe. with the call. Rams ball. 5-2, Five to two, 5.45 to play in the first. Inbound pass comes from Schroeder to Godbu. Godbu picks it up. Longmire underneath. Out to Severn for three. Severn. Adam Severn. That's kind of an unorthodox shot, but effective. Nothing but net there. 8-2, to two, Rams lead. Bergeron, DeVries, down to Sifford, goes down to the baseline in the blocks, loses handle, Godbu, Godbu back left to right. Now to Anderson out on the left wing, he takes it down to the baseline and he's fouled on the play and I believe that will be on Bergeron. It is. It is. Brighton Bergeron, that's his first. I think one play, way to play Anderson is we've seen him effectively with a jump shot. I think you want to try to take his right hand away, get up on him Mike, on the left-hand drive. Casey Godbu puts it up, no good, gets his own board, second chance opportunity, and good. Godbu's a strong kid. He's and stout. He uh, got the offense rebound and put it back up and Ten. Rams out to 10-2 lead. 10-2, yep, Rams lead. Gillen with the ball around to the right side now to Bergeron, right wing Bergeron with the ball. DeVries looks at the three, gets a pump fake, and gets Longmire in the air, and then Longmire comes down on him and is whistled for the call. That's his first. Tigers ball, sideline, inbound pass comes from Bergeron to Gillen. Gillen down the right side of the lane, puts it up off the glass, no good. There is Minson, it's blocked. Down the other end. Going away there by yeah. the Rams. Little errant pass that goes out of play. Tigers really making good, strong drives of the hoop here, and I think they need to continue that. They're not having much success, but continue that strategy. Just keep attacking the rim here, Aaron. Gillen with the ball at the center circle. Top of the key. Gets it to Minson. Now to Sifford. Four and a half minutes to play in the first. Sifford takes it down in the lane, picks up the dribble, spins, spins, puts it up. No good. Rebound, Godbu. Godbu. Hits Schroeder quickly to the other end. It goes to Severn. Severn around top of the key. Now to Anderson, and he'll set the play. Caden Anderson standing near center circle out to Longmire. Longmire around the arc, top of the key. Picks it up, gets it to Godbu. Left wing, Godbu with the ball. End of the lane, he goes. Bucket falls, but it doesn't count. They got a foul out on top. Min Who is that on? Minson, I believe. I think it's on Cyrus. It's his first. The inbound pass will come from Schroeder at the baseline for the Rams. And to Anderson in the corner, left side. Not a Longmire. Anderson fakes it out on the left wing. Right side to Schroeder in the lane. Nice move. Good. Puts it up. Rebound underneath. Back up. No good. DeVries comes away with it this time. Across the timeline. Gillen with the ball to the blocks on the left side. Puts it up off the glass. Sifford tried to tap it back out front, but I think he's whistled for over the back. Yep. First on Sifford. Coming into the ballgame is Roeder. Sifford will take a seat. 10 to 2 is our score with 3.41 to play in the first. Yeah, Sifford. Rams two, lead. Sifford, two fouls? Sifford has one. One foul game. Carson Roeder in for the Tigers, freshman. Peyton Longmire brings it across the center circle. 
Out on the left wing now, Schroeder, foul line. Out to Longmire, right side, underneath the God boo. He spins. Nice move. You know, he's strong with his back to the basket, Matt. He works well in there. He really does. He's got good footwork down low and showed right there. 10, 12 to 2 now, and six points for God boo. Down underneath to DeVries. Puts it up. Little jumper in front. Not there. Rebound pulled down that time by Severn to Longmire. Godbu takes it into the lane, puts it up, and is fouled on the play, and I think it will be on Minson. Yeah, Tigers are challenging the shot rim. they got to move their feet and I think try to maybe take a block or charge there. Minson gets whistled for his second personal, and it's going to send Casey Godbu to the line. Godbu six points in the ballgame. He's 6-2. You know, the Tigers have not been a good starting team this year, Aaron. We have seen them kind of struggle in the opening few minutes of games. It seemed like they get their – Almost like you need to get a timeout to catch their breath. But the Tigers need to hang around here. They need to get a couple buckets here. You don't want to get much further down than this in the first quarter. Godbu's first shot is no good. Second opportunity here for Godbu. Bennett Johnson in for the Tigers now. Max DeVries off the floor now. Shot is good from Godbu. We have not seen the Tigers play a lot without Max on the court this year. So we'll see what Tigers do here for the next couple minutes or at least a minute here. 13-2, Berggren, big killing. Berggren. Good passing there by the Tigers on the half Rotor press. down underneath, tries to get it to Bennett Johnson, but it, what, it kick the ball? Yeah, I think it was a kick. Wave so. 2.51 to play in the first. 13-2 is the score. Glenwood with the lead. Tigers with the ball, inbound pass to Johnson. Bennett Johnson tapped out of play. Nice job by Aiden Gibson. Here comes Max, just a real quick. Wrestler, but Max will come in for Hunter, so. Roder will put it into play for Red Oak. Roder to Sifford. Down the right side of the lane, it's knocked loose. Out of play, Tigers keep it. Braden, that Sifford, I think, is kind of key for the Tigers. He's got the ability to have good offensive game. We've seen where Braden, get, if he can get a couple buckets early, gives him confidence. But Tigers right now need to get a bucket here. 2.44 Two to play in the first. 13 2 is our score. Johnson, top key to Gillen, foul line. Gillen with the ball to the hoop and block. There's Bennett. Johnson puts it back up. No good this time. Godbu grabs the board. He gets it to Longmire and across the center stripe. Longmire with the ball. He'll set the play down the right side. Ends it to Anderson behind the arc. Picks it up. Godbu at the foul line. Double team, triple team. Ball's knocked loose on the floor. And... Got a kick, kick on, on the on the play by Black team, the Rams. So it'll be Tiger basketball. Good, good, like good said, effort. Yeah, good double triple team as you said there. The Tigers really converged down there on Godbu. Didn't let him do that spin move. Beeson coming into the ball game. Tyler Beeson. Brighton Berg going to go out and get a rest. Also coming into the ball game is Cole Stout for Casey Godbu for the Rams. All right, all set. Here we go. Inbound pass from Beeson to Gillen. Gillen right to left across center stripe. 2.15 to play in the first. 13-2. Gillen to Sifford out on the left side. Top to key to Johnson. Underneath it goes or the baseline. Actually, DeVries working his way inside. And a foul. Jack Johnson gets whistled for the call. And... <laughs> <laughs> Tigers inbounding here. There's a good play. There you go. Nice little Is that inbounds Beeson? play. Beeson there with a little layup. Tigers get on the board here. Been a good three four minute set stretch for they scored. Three pointer from the hands of Gibson is good. Rolls, rolls around and down. Aiden, Aiden Gibson. Gibson. It's 16 to 4. Glenwood with the lead. Minute and a half to play in the first. Sifford, left wing, comes top of the key, gets it to DeVries, standing at the top of the key. DeVries with the ball, minute 29. Three from DeVries is no good. Rebound tapped and coming away with it, Longmire. Anderson, long two, no good. Rebound Gillen. Good anticipation there by Anderson. Anderson again trying to get some space under there, puts it up. and Good hands by Gillen. Gillen comes away with it. End of the lane he goes. A little fingertip nice roll is good. Hunter's first points of the ball game. 16-6 is our score. Less than a minute to play in the first. 
Longmire is going to take it left or right across the timeline. Out to Anderson, right side. Now Anderson to Stout. Underneath to Anderson in the lane. Good help. Double team, foul on the floor. That'll be uh, two shots for Glenwood. Bennett Johnson gets whistled for his first, and it's going to send Caden Anderson to the line. This is will be his first opportunity from the line. A lot of fouls in the f- first quarter here, and we're going to have a tense game. It may come down. It could be. A, could be who's left standing <laughs> on the bench. It <laughs> certainly could. And the foul, I'm sorry, the first shot, the foul shot from Anderson is good. 17-6 is our score. Coming out of the game, Longmire. Into the game, Mount. Second shot, Anderson gets them both for the Rams. Gillen with the ball. 18-6 is the score, 35 seconds to play in the first. Rams lead. Gillen at the top of the key. Looking to take it into the lane. He does off the glass and scores two. Nice move there by Hunter. Hunter's really working through the body contact there. He keep thinking he's going to get an and one at some point, but got that layup to go. And with the ball now is Jack Johnson. Rams look like they're going to hold here, Aaron, for one shot here at the end of the quarter. Okay. Or maybe not. No, taking it in. Jack Johnson blocks, puts it up. He's fouled. Gillen's going to get whistled for the foul. That'll be his second, I think. Yeah. Two shots. Tigers will have, assuming they get the rebound or inbound here, they'll have eight seconds to get a shot off here in the quarter. The rims are warm and friendly tonight. They're getting a lot of bounce on those rims tonight, both teams. The rims are not frigid. Okay. All right. Shot. Good. Tigers. Johnson. Six seconds to go here. Tiger's going to get a shot up here. Hunter on the drive. And we're going to have a foul on the play. They call it jump foul, I think, actually. They're going to call it jump ball. Did they? It'll be Rams' possession. I think I think Hunter's getting a little frustrated on the drive. They, yes, I think that's accurate, Matt. A minute, a minute and a half. A half second and a half. Close. Oh. All right. 20 to 8 is our score. And we will take a quick break and be right back with quarter number two right after this. Glenwood with the lead. What's going on? The score, when I typed that in, it auto-corrected because it doesn't know what Gorenson is. So what did it say? Oh, hang on. Red Oak, halftime, or actually second quarter. <laughs> We're not at halftime yet, man. Not quite, no. We're not there yet. But with mm-hmm. the fouls, it seems like we had the good part about our new rule this year at the fouls. You start fresh every quarter, Aaron, with that's those fouls. A, they go back to zero on the board, so maybe this quarter we'll have a little less fouling by both teams and see yeah. where we go here in the second quarter. Yeah. All right, here we go. Again, I would say make note of our sponsors and say thank you when you have the opportunity. We have that includes our streaming sponsors, Gorenson Seed. We have Thanks to them for sponsoring. Restart here in the second quarter. All right. Tigers with their starting lineup out there. DeVries puts Ooh. up the three. He's fouled. He'll go to line for three. Fouls on Anderson. Yeah, Anderson just a tad bit late there and made contact after Max released the ball. Max will get three shots here because that's a three point shot attempt. DeVries at the line. Free shot opportunity here for Max. Shot is up. It's good. He gets is the first. It seemed to me it seemed like Max's free throw release is different than it was earlier. It seems like he's, he's using, leaning into it more. It seems like he's using more, almost more of a two-hand release on his free throws. 
than what I saw. He gets the first two. Am I wrong on that, or is it, no, is that way he's been shooting all year? I think he's been shooting that way all year. I think he seems like he's leaning forward into it more. Than what Whatever. As long as they go in, it does not matter. And so far, that's been the case. Third shot is good. Max gets them all three. Tiger's now going a little half-court trap here in a little 1-3-1, one, one. and there it is, Tap by Gillen, nice anticipation by Gillen. He keeps it in play, and it's going to be picked up by Johnson. Ah. Jack John quickly to the other end, fake it, and score. Nice job by Nolan Mount to pick up a couple. Yeah, Tiger's a turn, turnover there, but in the loose ball scramble, Linwood took advantage and got the bucket. Down underneath, shot goes up. It's no good. Rebound Rams. Johnson comes away with it. Johnson stolen by DeVries. Down to the other end of Gillen, but it's just lit too far. Yeah, kind here's of. Our, a, here's our track mate, Matt, that we yeah, talked about. You're right. Tigers are kind of coming with that trap, and that opens the game a little bit here. As you can see, the key on this for the Tigers is they're pretty good at anticipating the ball, but they got to watch that backside once the pressure is broken. Schroeder now out to Johnson. Inside it goes to good Schroeder move. to the bucket. No, that, that's a hard drive, and that's how you do it right there, Aaron. A little two foot jump stop, and. Nice cut there by that young man to get a bucket for the Rams. Gillen with the ball at the top of the key. Comes around to the left side. Now to DeVries, looks at the three, fakes it, takes it down inside, puts it up, blocked. Nice block there by Gibson. Gibson, 6'5", has got some length and able to get that deflection. Stout takes it down the lane, right side Johnson. Back to Schroeder. Inside to Stout. Shot from Mount is good. Nolan Mount. You know, Rams. Is that three, Matt? That's three we're going to have. Timeout. And it's 27 to 11 now. Glenwood with the lead. Six and a half minutes to play in the half. Right. And we'll take that break with them and be right back after this. Glenwood leads 27 to 11. Eleven is our score, and uh, say thanks to our sponsors when you have the opportunity. Both our sponsors on air and the sponsors that we have online. Say thanks to them, and that does include our online sponsors, Pivot Bio and uh, Gorenson Seed. Tigers came out in that last uh, couple minutes there with that little half court trap, and they created some deflections, but. In those loose ball scrambles, the Rams benefited from that. Well, I think the Tigers are probably going to get out of that here. The uh, Rams, a little 8-0 run. Tigers have cut it down, I think, to an eight-point lead. Then the Rams come back with an eight-point lead, and they jumped out now 27-11. So Tigers really need to uh, kind of try to whittle this lead down here in the last six minutes of the first half here, try to get this back into range here. All right. Sifford with the ball out on the left side. Down to the baseline he goes, then underneath, kicks it out to Gillen quickly to Bergen for three off the right side. No good. We're gonna That's gotta be a foul. <laughs> oh, wow. The... Tiger's got a call there, I think, Aaron. Uh, don't you think? I don't think <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that by that, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's a tackle. I was gonna give Cyrus a tackle wow. on that or a takedown, but there you go. we'll call that a jump ball. Tiger's gonna stay in at one three one here. Mount to Johnson. Back to Mount. Gillen is there. Foul. Pretty, that, and that's Hunter's third. Yeah, that's he's gonna, gonna he's gonna come out of the ball game. That hurts. He's gonna have, probably have to sit for the rest of the half here. I'm gonna bring Carson Rotor in, but yeah, we just seen a lot. You know, that's one of those risk reward. You go to these traps and you try to create turnovers, but you can also foul in situation. Mount will put it into play to Johnson. Johnson works his way down in lane off the glass. No good. Rebound Sifford. Sifford across the timeline, down to the right wing. Now to DeVries, in the lane, spins, puts it up. No good, it's blocked actually, and coming away with it, Johnson quickly to the other end, track meet now. And there is the six Gibson. foot five junior Gibson with two more. Good break, the Rams really like to get out and run. I can tell right now they are a transition team, Aaron. They're very good in the open court. 
Berggren with the ball. They run the lanes very well. Good spacing on the transition. I think the, the scoreboard's off, isn't it? Should be 29-11. I thought it was 29. I thought maybe it should be, but we'll see. Right S Sifford with the ball. Berggren at the top of the key. He hands it off to DeVries. He takes the three from the top of the key. He'll go to the line again for three. The foul's going to be on Schroeder. Drew Schroeder. So Max will go line for three more shots. Second time he's been fouled on a three-point shot. Shot. First shot from Max is no good. Have three here. Max is, has five points from the line tonight. No good. Number two into the game, Bennett Johnson, and Minson will take a seat. DeVries at the line. This will be his third and final. Shots good from Max. 29-12 is our score. Five minutes to play in the half. Jack Johnson, just a sophomore. You know, Coach Schulte has gone, you know, nine, ten guys deep here. There's going to be a foul on Roeder. Yep, Roeder gets whistled. Carson Roeder. Rams seniors are Keaton Johnson, Casey Godbu, and really looking at the roster Severin. Longmire, so they do have a, quite a bit of senior on that starting rotation, but they say that Coach Schulte goes pretty deep here with his roster. Everyone is on the bench has pretty much, I think, almost been in the game. Anderson back into the ballgame to Severn. Severn, I'm sorry. Anderson at the it. top of the key. Into the lane he goes. Strong take to the hoop, but doesn't convert at the bucket. Berger grabs the board, gets it to Roeder. Roeder pushes it across the center stripe quickly. Picks it up, hands it to Berger. Now to Sifford. Sifford at the center circle. Comes around to the right side to DeVries. Right wing, DeVries with the ball, takes it to the hoop. And I'm going to call a charge on DeVries on that. It'll be Max's first foul. That's I thought maybe the player was a little bit farther under the bucket on that. They don't have that little, you know, thing like you mm -hmm. see in college NBA. But, you know, there's something to the point where underneath the bucket you might be too far. But nonetheless, charge call there. And with the ball, Longmire will take it across the center stripe for the Rams. Left to right. Comes around to the right side. Into the corner, Schroeder underneath. Wow. Wide open is Severn. Yeah, wow. Tigers got lost there defensively. Under the bucket and no one within feet of him. Yeah, just made a cut and no one was there. And 31 to 12 is our score. Rams lead with four, just over four minutes to play in the half. Johnson. Sifford for three, in and out, no good. Rebounds, Ooh, nice job by Carson. He'll take the three. It's no good. There's DeVries. Tigers getting some second and third chance opportunities. Fouls on Longmire. Wow, Ram fan, uh, Rams team really vocal about that call. I thought it was a foul. And it's going to send DeVries to the line. 31-12 is our score, 348 to play in the half. Shots good from Max. I'm not a big fan of the referees talking to coaches, even in the Jovial. I'm not a big fan of that, Aaron. I think the refs should try to just kind of be friendly, but, you know, not yeah. get in conversation with coaches. I just don't think, I mean, hands on the back and all that, that's not necessary. Shot from DeVries is good. Gets them both. 31-14 now. Max gets both of those. 3.43 to play in the half. Tap by Beeson out of play. Nice job by Tyler. Rams ball. And the inbound pass will come at over on the sideline near midcourt, and Severn will put it into play. Adam Severn is senior, 6'3 senior to Anderson. Out to Severn, over the left side to Schroeder. Schroeder to Anderson near the top of the key. Trying to get the little pick and roll there. Rams have done a really good job. Very few turnovers. They have really gotten good shots. In fact, there is Tatum one. Minson. But they have done a good job with their offense so far this first half. Siffer takes it to the other end, kicks it out to DeVries. DeVries into the lane, puts it off the glass. It's no good. Rebound, Godbu. Down to the other end quickly. Nice. Anderson on. Oh, nice hit, play. hit him in stride, man. You bet. That was a great catch in traffic by Anderson, and he had the concentration to make it. Beeson back with a three. It's good. Tyler Beeson. 
Knocking down a three, much needed there by the Tigers. 33-17 is the score with 2.17 to play in the half. There's a three, no good. Rebound, Sifford, he pushes it quickly across the center stripe, into the lane, Sifford with the ball. Out to Beeson, now to DeVries. In the lane he goes, foul on the floor. The fourth team foul on Glenwood. So on five you shoot, 2.34 to go. So next foul on Glenwood, put Relk in a two-shot possession. Now Coach DeVries gonna roll the dice here. Aaron and bring in Hunter back with his three fouls for the Tigers. Inbound pass will come from DeVries at the baseline for Red Oak. All the way out to Minson near center circle. Right side now to Gillen, and he'll set the play. Gillen with the ball. Works his way right. Gets it to DeVries. DeVries to Sifford. 2.24 to play in the half. Sifford takes it down the right side of the lane. Spins. Kicks it back top to key to DeVries for three. Not there. Short off the front of the rim. DeVries follows it. The two shots, even though it was on the pass, it'll be two shots, two shots. Fouls on Severn. That's his first. So the Tigers will be in a bonus. That could help him here as they try to whittle this lead down a little bit, Aaron, try to get back into this at halftime, having that two shots on every foul now. You need to take advantage of that. 33-17 is our score. Shot from DeVries is good. Max. Max has been to the foul line, yeah. let me tell you. Has he, well, I think he's got one three-point bite. Has he got a field goal or are they all free throws? Everything's free throws. That's a thought. Shot from DeRees, good. Gets them both. And it's 33-20 now with just over two minutes to play in the half. Jack Johnson with the ball. Down the lane, he puts it off. A little roll, he's fouled on the play. I think it's on Beeson. It is Tyler Beeson, that's his first. Coming into the ball game, Gillen, and to the line will be Jack Johnson. This is his second opportunity. He's one of two from the foul line in the ball game. Shot is no good from Johnson. Into the game, Gillen, out of the game, Roeder. Second shot is good from Johnson. Tigers here moving the ball against a little half-court trap here against the Rams. And Sifford with the ball left side. We're gonna have a We're gonna have offensive on, foul. Called an offensive I foul. It's on Beeson, I think. Trying to set a screen. Yeah, Beeson. It is. Yeah, that's number two on Beeson. So that's 15 foul, but that's a player control foul. So I don't think you shoot on that, Aaron. So. It'll be a side out of bounds for Glenwood. Johnson takes it across the center stripe out on the right side to Anderson. Anderson. Right wing with the ball. Godbu and Bergman really battling down low. Into the lane, Anderson. Nice move to the bucket by Caden Anderson. Left hand strong drive there by Caden. 36-19. Sifford with the ball, left wing. Rams lead now, minute 38 to play in the half. DeVries at the top of the key. Down to Bergeron. Sifford takes it to the hoop, blocked by Godbu, picked up by Beeson. He gets it to DeVries, out to Sifford in the corner. Now Beeson for three. It's no good. Bergeron, nice job under there by Brighton Bergeron. We'll get two shots. Brighton doesn't seem to be affected by that ankle. Seems to be moving pretty well out there, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Looks like Johnson gets and Roeder gets set to come into the ball game. Brighton Berger and going to the line. Now this will be Brighton's first opportunity from the line here tonight. Two shot opportunity for Brighton. First one he just picks a perfect Matt. Snaps in that with it. Yeah, I thought Brighton had his best game of the year up in Atlantic Tuesday. He just he fouled out of the game, but I mean everything he did on the court was uh, productive. He rebounded well, made good passes, good cuts, played good defense, and. Uh, and there's another free throw make by Bergen. So both. Brighton really has picked up his game here since Christmas break. 36-21 is our score. Rams lead here. Just over a minute to play in the half. Caden Anderson with the ball for the Rams. Goes right to Longmire. Takes the screen from Godbu to foul line. Longmire now to Anderson. 
Anderson really constantly in movement on that offensive end, Aaron. Casey Godbu back to the basket, spins, puts it up. Rebound, Berger. Good defense by Bennett Johnson and good job by Brighton coming to the backside to clean up there for the Tigers. Roeder, there's Anderson. Nice anticipation, takes it down. and Kind of a, kind mini, of a, yeah, kind of a mini pushover I, dunk I'm, there. I'm giving it to him. It's, I'm calling it a dunk. I'm going with it. Yeah. But the it, steal was even better. It was an anticipation steal, and uh, you can tell he's just able to read the game so well with Caden Anderson. Bergeron. 20 Johnson. seconds to go here before half. 38-21, Tigers ball. Bergeron top of the key for three. It's not there. Rebound Johnson. He gets it to Godbu down to the other end. Just over the fingertips of Gibson. Tigers have 11 seconds to go here to try to get a bucket before halftime. They'll bring in Minson and Gillen. Roeder and Johnson will go out. So Tigers here trying to get a little momentum here to go in the halftime here if they can get a bucket. Gillen with the ball. 10 seconds and counting. Hunter Gillen, right side. Loses the handle. Picked up by Longmire. Quickly to the other end. Longmire. Shot is off. It's no good. That was Severn getting the shot off, but it doesn't count. That one didn't go through. Doesn't count. 38-21 is our score at half. Glenwood with the lead. We'll take a break, and we'll be back after this. Oak Orange Gymnasium, Glenwood with the lead, 38-21. A couple of special guests at the media suite. We have a couple of celebrities, two old, I mean really old, old, really old, Simpson College athletes who really, I doubt they were athletic at one time, but they said they were. <laughs> we have Red Oak Hall of Famer Mike Godbu, probably more importantly the dad of Casey Godbu, who saw it out in the same first half, and Red Oak Superintendent Ron Lorenz. Welcome, guys. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it. So it's good to come back. I think I appreciate it. I'm not sure where this is going, now, so now, I'm going to reserve judgment. Now, <laughs> now, just for our audience sake, let me set the stage here. Mike, you and Ron were, I don't know the exact same years, but you were matriculated at uh, Simpson about the same time, correct? Yeah, I think we yeah, were we the gra- same. same yep. Yeah, we graduated the same year. Okay. They, they told us that when our class graduated, the, the IQ of Simpson <laughs> increased like 14 points. <laughs> 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 well, I don't know about that, but uh, but now, Mike, you were a track and field. Correct. And Ron, you were a punter. No, you were the nose tackle of the football team. Is that correct? No, let me let me rephrase it. Mike was a world class athlete. I was a knuckle dragger. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ron was part of a pretty good workhorse of uh, uh, football teams. So, how did you guys meet way back? Was so in, in library? That, oh, please <laughs> stop! <laughs> it's probably through Loffy. Uh, yeah, yeah. We had uh, Matt Laughlin was Mission Valley. He was a buddy of mine. Yeah, so he was actually my roommate my junior and senior year. So, but I'm sure we met before then at the library. Yeah, or, or Hamilton number two. Exactly. You, you may have been over there. <laughs> yeah, I know when when Ron first took the job at Red Oak, he came down the hallway, Aaron, once and said. 
why do we have a picture of Mike Godbu in our in our in our hallway? And I said, well, he was a good athlete. No, he wasn't. No, <laughs> he just, didn't really say that. No, it, it's funny. <laughs> you didn't even he Mike didn't even know you were working for Red Oak. I it was it was interesting because when I was considering the Red Oak job, I talked to you know Matt Laughlin, our friend. Yeah. Uh, and just mentioned that I was kind of thinking about I was really excited. And he said, you know, that's where Godbu's from. <laughs> and I said, no, that's a nice little community. <laughs> he said, no, he is. And, and I decided, well, he's been gone long enough. Probably some of that stink has worn off. So, <laughs> Well, well we, we tease Mike. But, uh, of course, Mike, I know Mike from his dad, Ron Godbu, a longtime coach. Uh, tremendous athlete, your dad as well. But, uh but, Mike, uh, tell us a little bit what you're doing now. Uh, where, where are you at? What are you doing? Well, still with the fire department and Council Bluffs. So I'm just kind of riding my time out there. I'm still in Glenwood, obviously, the family. But, no, it's always nice to come back. And, you know, when I found out Ron was superintendent here, and just all the things that have been positive changes, it, it's neat to come back. Red Oak's a great community. I've always thought that. Uh, obviously, we're happy in Glenwood, and, and we're really happy with what's going on over there. But it's just, you know, I know a little kind of, cherry on top with you know ron a, a friend of mine from simpson that's now the superintendent here and and I'm just things a, are really are turning in positive directions he's, in Red Oak. he's making me feel bad because I, I, I was a little salty with him and now he's <laughs> saying all these nice things i'm surprised you still claim him as a friend after all that mike <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying but, but you know it's all good. It's yeah. all good. I'm wanting the stories to break out. There have to well, be some stories. Here. See, I'm not even. I'm not even going to the Barker boy nope. stuff. No. Well, I, w- I will say this. I think I actually the one that told Mike that this Ron Lorenz guy was working for Red Oak, and 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 Mike like no, and I go yes. And, no, I think the first thing I said was Rondo. Rondo. Yeah. <laughs> when did he get out of the pan? No, no, no. no. <laughs> both of you stop it. Both of you stop it. But, but I do want to know, you know, you're both in Simpson. It's a smaller school in regards to that. You guys are still active. You guys get back to Simpson. You go back to football games or basketball. Are you guys having involvement with Simpson? I'm, Mike, I you know, know you've coached for a while. After I, you guys I had some there. separation for quite a while, but obviously Brendan's back there now. So, you know. Your I'm, other son. Yeah. Brendan, my other son. Is, is he running at, track? Yep. He's still running at a meet today at Iowa State. So, uh, he's doing well. But it's, it's been really it's really been pleasant, and I don't know how often Ron, I can't speak for Ron, how often he gets back anymore. There's been quite a few changes, and it's really been pleasant. Like I said, it's it's a unique for me because Ron's here, and I'm from here, and, and you're on the radio, and all the people I know, the Deets family. and Well, there's quite a few neat. guys from Red Oak that have gone to Simpson and had great careers. Avery Boos, I don't know if you you know yep. Avery. Avery was, I think Tag to Tag. Yep, tag, to, tag was I mean, both of those guys are Hall of Famers, I think, at Simpson as well, are yep. they not? Yep. So there's a long line of Red Oak that's gone into Simpson. We won't talk about Central College. It seems like there's a strong line to Simpson. Central's kind of there. Jeez, it Mike, ends. I kind of threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not Central guys. That's no. all right. I don't, I don't know why he'd bring that up. But, but there you go. But uh, so uh, what else we need to know about you, Mr. Godbury? How you been? I'm doing good. Like I said, uh, you know, Casey had that knee surgery, and it was kind of a setback he, from the fall. And but Yeah, he, he seems to be moving okay. really well. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it, and the, the DeVries, you know, Max is obviously a, a tremendous basketball player, and, and I've been friends with Ron and Jackie forever. So, you know, it's, it's always fun and, to come back. And, and there's and, a burger now on the court. Yeah, you that's know, right, too. I keep forgetting I, about a, that. Yeah, it's it's another like, burger. It's just yeah. like circa 1980, only by the, the kids are out there in the court. But uh, <laughs> but good to see you two guys. I don't know. It's a, it's good to have these connections, I think. Uh, what do you think? Oh. I don't know. We need to evaluate them. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I got to tell you, Aaron, Mike texted me. They said, hey, Matt wants us on the radio at halftime, and I said, "You think that's a good idea?" <laughs> and he well, said, "I don't know what he's got in store, but well, I, he, he, uh, he said we're going to have a couple of special guests." And he told me, and I said, "You sure that's a good idea?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, but well, the first <laughs> thing is special guest. I, I knew it was Ron. <laughs> oh, it was Ron. Here we go. Here we go. Well, very good. Well, we'll, we'll we've kept it clean here, so we won't go any more of that. But very good to see you guys here, and and Ron, I know it's been a difficult week for you yeah. in relation to that with what's going on in the community, but. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, I, it's been a tough week. I, yeah. um, that's something I think everybody's kind of dealing with a little bit. So it's it's actually fun to get out here and, and see Mike and just see yeah. the kids kind of run around having fun. So kind of puts it back in perspective a little yeah. bit. Very good. Very hey, thanks very for coming true. up and visiting with us, guys. Nope, appreciate it so much. And, yeah, that's very true on this long week. And, yeah. I, you know, that's – yeah, things change. There's still something about you tough. with a Glenwood jersey on. I just can't. It just doesn't correlate in my mind, I know. Michael. I, I don't I know. know. 
But there you go. You go find an alleyway in Red Oak and go run sprints down an alleyway <laughs> <laughs> like you did back in sixth grade over garbage uh, you know what? Whatever you did. It warms up a little bit. Maybe I will. Good to yeah. see you guys. Thank you. you so Make much, it a great guys. day. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Ron Lorenz and Mike Godbury, thank you, guys. Thanks for coming up and uh, visiting with us. Hall of so. Famer, Mike. Uh, it was a narrow Famer. ballot. It was a close ballot, very controversial with Godbu's induction, but nonetheless, he squeaked into the Hall of Fame. Squeaked in. Well To Red Oak, halftime, uh, Glenwood leads 38-21. In the first half, Caden Anderson puts up 11 points, 2 of 2 from the foul line. Aiden Gibson with 5 points in the ballgame. Nolan Mount, 5 points. Casey Godbu has 7, 1 of 2 from the foul line. Jack Johnson with 2 points, 2 of 4 from the foul line. Drew Schroeder, 2 points in the ballgame. And uh, Adam Severn with 5 points in the ballgame here in the first half. For the Red Oak Tigers, Hunter Gillen has two. Maybe a bigger story, Gillen has three personal fouls at halftime. That could be become a factor. Brighton Berger with two points, two of two from the foul line. And uh, Max DeVries has ten points. Every one of those come from the foul line. He's yeah. 10 of 12 from the foul line in the ballgame and five points for Tyler Beeson for the Red Oak Tigers. Those are your halftime stats here. I would emphasize that my stats are unofficial. All right. You know, Matt. call me crazy. Call me crazy. Oh, but, crazy. you know, the Tigers are down 17, but, I, you know, I think they have a chance to crawl back to the game, but it has to begin in the first two or three, four minutes of the third quarter. They cannot get any further down. They've got to whittle this in the first two or three. But I just think the Tigers did not shoot well, didn't play well offensively in that first half. I'm just, you know, you think if they can get a little 8, 8 0, 6 0 yeah. you know, type run here to kind of go the start of half, they have a chance, but it's a very narrow chance. But, but uh, the first two or three minutes are going to be real important for the Tigers here because they can't just trade buckets with the Rams. So if they are going to get back in this game, they got to take advantage of it pretty quick here. So we'll see. Tigers are going to go, it looks like, with their original starting lineup. And, of course, Hunter Gillen with three fouls. And it looks yeah. like the Rams will go with their starting two fouls. Let's I've been told there's another Simpson grad we have forgotten about, a very notable Simpson grad. Mark Erickson. No. He's the, yes. yeah, he's the Simpson grad. I guess he well, graduated. We may need to double well, check We that. might need but confirmation. Matt, I want to say make note of our sponsors as we move along through the game, both online or on uh, our radio, KCSI 95.3, and online. That includes Gorenson Seed, our scoreboard sponsor. Thanks to the fine folks at Gorenson Seed for all you do for the community and uh, for being there. Also, Pivot Bio. Thanks to Pivot Bio. So here, here we go. Here we go, Matt. Basketball time. Tigers with the ball. Around to the right side. Gillen going to be tapped and kept in play. Boy, what an effort by Schroeder. Just stepped out of bounds. It'll be Tiger basketball. And it's Tigers ball. Midcourt near side. Bergen will put it into play as we come back to action now once again for Red Oak. Right in Bergen to Gillen. Gillen at the top of the key. Left side to Sifford. Gillen with the ball. Fades right, passes back to the center. Gillen or to the top of the key to Sifford. Gillen to DeVries. DeVries takes it in the lane, spins, puts it up. Yes. Fouled on the play. Boy, that one just rolled over the rim. That was this. Got him in the wash cycle there, spun him around, and ball in just went over the rim just enough, so I have a chance for an and one here. Interest oh, interestingly enough, Fouls on Casey Godbu. That's his first. That's Max's first field goal yeah, of the game. Yeah, and he really had to earn that. And shots, the foul shot is good. So good start here for the Tigers. 
We'll see if the Tigers can crawl their way back in this game here. Little still staying with that one-two-two two half court trap. And there it, it is. It's gonna be knocked loose and DeVries comes away with it. He takes it to the other end to the hoop, fakes it, takes it, and is blocked. Schroeder out of the pass goes to Anderson with the left hand for two. And the Rams are really deadly in transition. They really get the ball up court well and transition well when the Tigers turn it over. DeVries down to the baseline in the blocks. Bounce pass out to Sifford for three on the left wing. Short, not there. He's going to bounce out of play. Rams ball. Tigers are right there. That was a key possession. They could have cut that down to, what, a 10 on a 11-point lead, but the Rams get that break out here, and let's see the Longmire to Anderson. This one Back two to two. Longmire. 1-2-2 two is giving him a little bit of fits. Out to Anderson in the corner. It goes to Severn. Oh. Down there, they tapped by Gillen, picked up by DeVries. Now to Sifford. Right side to Gillen. Sifford to Minson for three on the left wing. Not there. Rebound. Out of play. Tigers will keep it. Good job there by Hunter to keep working at the re- rebound. Didn't get it, but it did go off the Rams. So the Tigers will inbound it underneath their bucket. DeVries will put it into play at the baseline out to Minson. Now to Gillen. Gillen looks at the three, takes it in the lane, flips it to Sifford. Top three, Bergeron, right side, Minson. Now to Gillen, right wing, fakes the three into the lane. Stripped loose, picks it up, puts it up, and scores two. Hunter hung with it. They're going to have a timeout by Red Oak. 30-second timeout. 40-26 to 26 is the score. 6-17 they, to play in the third. Yeah, I think the Tigers are right here. They just they need to put together, string together some stops, try to get this under the 10-point lead. I mean, it's it does get that sense that the Tigers have something in them here, but um, it has to start happening pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. You know, Rams, they're a good ball team, Matt. They are. They, yeah. they, what I'm really impressed is that their ability to convert, convert that, that defense into transition offense really quickly. They get out and run the lanes really well. Caden Anderson and Johnson and all those guys, they really have been really good in the open court tonight, kind of taking that trap. And, you know, as much as Rose trying to turn them over, there's been so many loose ball possessions where Rams have benefited from it, you know, getting buckets off those kind of loose ball exchanges. Do you have any more popcorn over there? I don't. And it, it's, it's National it's Popcorn National Day. It's National Popcorn Day, and we're out of popcorn. I don't. I mean, something seems wrong with that, doesn't it? So here you go. Tigers are not going to go full court on the trap. It's going to be knocked loose, but Longmire gets it to Schroeder somehow. Schroeder across the timeline, down to the right side, to the baseline. Dumps it underneath to Godbu. Godbu just bulls his way in there, and finally a foul on the play. Tigers really bringing the pressure here, and it's bothering the Rams, but... Rams are able to get down court, and Godbu will get two shots here. That's three on Minson. Godbu goes to the line. Godbu one of two from the line here. Ron and Marion Godbu listening or watching here in Red Oak, watching their grandson at the free throw line here. This one's good. Case, that's eight points for Casey here this evening. 41-26 is our score. Casey's grandpa was my eighth grade math teacher and junior high track coach. Huh. There you and go. football coach. How were you at eighth grade math? Man? How was I? I was a mediocre to sub average athlete. <laughs> I was talking about math. Oh, that, math. that as well. That same thing. That was math. Mediocre to sub average. It's 52 to play in the third. Gillen with the ball. Now to DeVries. Out on the left side to Sifford. Bergren behind the arc, left side. Gillen looks at the three, then takes it into the lane from the top. Oh, nice. A little low. Nope, gets his own board, puts it back up. This time it's good for two. Hunter's just hanging in there, gets the bucket to go. Left side, he goes to Schroeder, into the lane. Schroeder dumps it off underneath. Severn, nice little reverse layup by Severn. Nice cut by Severn on that baseline to get himself open there. Nice job. 5-17 to play in the third, and it's 44-28 is our score. Shoot it, Braden. There you go. Get it in there. He's got to and continue to shoot, Aaron. They're leaving him wide open. Godbu down to the other end. It goes nice to pass. Severn. Boy, oh, what my a gosh. In transition, foul. What a play by the Rams, man. Everything I like about that, a long bounce pass right on the money, Aaron. That was a great pass by Longmire. The like bucket said, counts. Rams are really good in transition, aren't they? They are really good. They're a good ball team. Severn at the line. So the foul was on Bergeron. That's number two on Bergeron. Severn at the line, and he converts. So 
So and Rams coming out a little kind of half court press here. 47-28 is our score, Rams lead. There's Sifford, right side Gill on down to the baseline. Tries to go, gets it to DeVries, but bounces near the center stripe. DeVries comes back around to the right wing, picks up his dribble, and it's gonna be kind of an errant pass and coming away with it is Longmire. Out to Severn for three, no good. There is Anderson almost. Minson with the outlet pass to Gill on the other end with the left hand off the glass for two. Hunter really kind of hung in there. I think he hurt himself a little bit with that ankle. Slow getting up down to the other end. Boy, great hustle there by Brighton Bergeron. Wow. <laughs> you got to like Brighton. Brighton's a kid you want on the bottom of the football pile because he's going to find that football. In that case, it's basketball. <laughs> he and Schroeder were on the floor going at it, <laughs> going for the ball. Yeah. Schroeder ended up on top of him. You bet. Hunter out of the game. They're looking at his ankle. Coach Gilbert, assistant coach Chris Gilbert, looking at his ankle here. Got to love the effort. Got to love the effort. Inbound pass comes to Longmire. Now to Godboo, into the lane. Nice move to the bucket by Godboo. Well, they're letting a lot of physicality go, aren't they? Pretty physical. I'm not going to lie to you, Matt. Pretty physical. Siffer to the hoop for oh, no good. There's the board or the rebound by DeVries, and he puts it back up and in for two. Yeah, it's pretty physical. Right side to Anderson, and I like a good physical game. We're going to have a foul on the play on Siffer, I believe. But, yeah, it's a – Really, both teams are very aggressive. We have commented, Aaron, about, you know, the physicality. What is the right balance of yes. physical play in basketball? And, you know, some teams have a propensity to play a more physical game. It's just the nature of the makeup, what type of team you have, I guess. But uh, officiating is such a difficult challenge because uh, teams play different styles and, have, like I said, different makeups of, of it. And, Absolutely. You know, I didn't get the sense that Atlantic Riddle game was very physical in no. regards. There was a physical player this, on Atlantic. They had a very physical player, but the game yep. itself was not physical. Anymore. This game is much more physical than that game was, I think, anyway, at least yeah. from where we sit. Yeah. Second shot from Anderson is good. 49-32 is the score. Glenwood leads. Rotor into the ball game. So is Beeson. Beeson to Sifford right side underneath to Minson. There's Rotor. DeVries, left wing, he takes it into the lane, spins, puts it up, and scores two. Nice move by Max. Came back to the left side and made that with a left-hand layup. 49-34 is the score. End of the lane, Anderson, jump stop, kicks it out in the corner to Gibson for three. It's no good. There's DeVries with the board. He slows it just a bit down to the left wing. Now to Sifford, 3.23 to play in the third. Get a sense one of these other Tigers can get hot. Minsk can knock down some threes or... If Sifford could get going here, that'd be a big step here to the Tigers because they're really leaning on a max offense right here in the second half. Foul on Longmire. And Peyton Longmire, that's number three for Longmire. Gillen, there, Gillen looks like he's retying his shoe down there on the bench. So Make native or note of our sponsors and say thank you when you have the opportunity. Into the backcourt, it goes to Sifford. And Sifford's going to bring it back left to right across the center stripe to the top of the key. Sifford, Minson for three off the left wing, short off the front of the rim. There's Godboo with the board, track meet to the other end and puts it off the glass. You showed, know, that's some, a, showed some speed there. Yeah, He didn't get that from his father, I can tell you that. I don't <laughs> know where that came from. Oh, Probably yeah. from his grandpa. Shots up from DeVries, three-pointer, no good. You know, Matt, that is a difficult thing. You think a layup is easy, but when you're going full steam and you have three guys around you to get that, Finesse enough to get the layup. That's a tough shot. Yeah, unless you have those Michael Jordan-esque or NBA-like skills where you can get up in the air and do it. Yeah, it's uh, you're right. Especially, you know, you got guys running right and left with you. But this is going to be Glenwood basketball. 2.43 to go. Rams have done a good job here in the second half maintaining that lead. Tigers have played well here. I think they show good effort here in the second half, but haven't been able to cut that lead. Out on the right side, Longmire to Johnson underneath. Quick good cut. Turns up, puts it up, no good. Rebound. The shot goes up by Gibson, and the rebound by the Tigers. DeVries across the timeline. Max has to got Gillen. to have double digit rebounds, I think, as well. Gillen comes around to the right side, then to DeVries. Pressure from Longmire. He's double teamed, kicks it out to Gillen. He fakes the three from the left elbow, dumps it down underneath. It's Bennett Johnson blocked by Gibson. DeVries for three off the right wing. It's no good. Rebound, Gillen. 
Gillen to DeVries. He puts it up and is fouled on the play, and I believe that's on Cole Stout, but I would He should be getting two shots. I think he was an active shooting. That is Tiger's doing, a, Tiger's doing a good job there. He had second, third chance rebounds. Bennett Johnson, Hunter both with off its rebounds there. But 51-34 with two minutes to play in the third. Rams with the lead. DeVries at the line. Shot's good from DeVries. Max really hasn't been able to get the jump shot going. Everything's been going towards the hoop, and then, of course, he's been going that free throw lane. I don't know. He's got 10, 11 points now from the free throw line. He has 12 points from the free 12, throw line. 12 of his 18 from the line. Second shot's up. It's no good. Rebound. Bounces out to the top, and Stout picks it up, but then he's tied up. Going to jump ball, Matt. Jump ball will be red up ball, so the hands in there by Carson Motor and Bennett Johnson. Coming into the ball game. Nolan Mount taking a seat, Longmire. Tigers ball at the baseline. Inbound pass will come from DeVries to Roeder. Not a Gillen on the right side. He takes the three. It's no good. Rebound Mount. We're going to have a foul on Roeder. Yeah, just had, the Ram uh, Schroeder had good position there. And Carson is uh, Carson's a talented kid. He's got all the... Uh, Ball he, skills he can handle. He's got a really good handle with the dribble. He can shoot well. Uh, and, and Car- he, Go ahead. He's a freshman, man. Yeah, just a freshman. But uh, and he and he likes to play the game of basketball. I mean, uh, I remember three or four years ago I challenged him a shooting competition to why twenty bucks. I mean, he hit like three half court shots in a row. He took your money. Took my money. He hustled me. His first shot from Mount is up. It's no good. 51-35 is our score. Shot from Mount. Good. He gets the second. Nolan Mount. And it's 52-35. Is this the biggest lead of the night for the Rams? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, 17-point lead here. Into the uh, Gillen goes into the lane on the blocks, and there's a foul on the floor that will be on Johnson. Jack Johnson. That's number three on Johnson. Tigers ball at the baseline. The inbound pass will come from DeVries at the baseline to Bennett Johnson. Bergeron, DeVries, he's open for three off the right side, in and out. No good. There's a rebound by Gibson. Stout to Jack Johnson on the right side, baseline right to Mount. He takes it in the lane. Kind of a little fadeaway six-footer. No good. Rebound DeVries. DeVries takes it down the left side of the lane and puts it off. No good. Bennett Johnson to Bergeron out on the right side. Gillen, top key to DeVries for three. In and out, no good. Rebound, Bergeron. Tigers Other. getting second, oper- third chance opportunities here. Brighton with two good, tough rebounds. I think Max is getting tired out there, Aaron. He is uh, carrying a load right now, the shots. That foul's on Stout. That's his second. Brighton will go a line here. and I, I just really like the effort from Brighton. It seems like he's really settled in here. And Not same that season. Down. He's comfortable with this role. He knows he's going to be scrapping on the boards. And I'd like to see Brighton step out and take the shot a little bit more on his game. He's got the shot to do it. Just think he needs a little confidence. Max will come out now, get a rest. Shot from Bergeron. Second shot's no good. Rebound Stout to Jack Johnson. Quickly up the court. He's fast. Into the lane he goes, and we're going to have a foul on Bergeron. Yeah. Got him right there. That'll be two shots. Johnson's a quick athlete. Yes, he is. And he's, I believe, what, just a sophomore. So he's going to have a good basketball career here. Gibson is a junior. They say Jackson's a sophomore, but the rest are most all seniors. So it's really not a young team uh, for the Rams here. They've got a lot of seniors. Jack Johnson, first shot was good. We're getting some little substitution, some substitutions taking place here now. Back at it. Second shot from Johnson. Short front of the rim. Gets his own board. Puts it off the glass and scores two. Yeah. Great job by Johnson. Stayed with it. Shot it. Hit off the rim. Traced it down and put it right back up. Gillen takes it to the hoop and puts it up. No good. Rebound. Coming away with it. Gibson. Gibson to Johnson. 43 seconds remaining in the third. 55-36 is our score. Right side stout for three. Not there. Rebound, DeVries. We're going to have a foul on the play that may be on Johnson. May have gone over the back. It is. That's number four. Get confirmation on that, but I think that's number four on Johnson. It is. 
So he'll probably come out of the ball game here. DeVries at the line. You know, back to basic to math, proficiency in school. Back when I was in school, once you got to seventh grade, they had three levels. It was called basic math, pre-algebra, algebra. algebra. Really what it was was smart kids. Easy now. You don't know either way (laughs) in the dumb kids. I went to basic math. I lobbied to get in that pre-algebra group. I couldn't get in that quite pre-algebra group. Eventually, I I think I lobbied uh, uh, Mr. Gary Piper, and he said, okay, Davis, we'll put you in pre-algebra. I think I eked out with a C (laughs) minus. You eked through? That's that's back in the day when they just kind of said, they just kind of tabbed you. You didn't have to any tests. They just said, no, you're here. (laughs) 55-38 is our score. Rams lead, 25 seconds to play in the third. Longmire to Mount. Mount back to Longmire. Just working the clock down here, Matt. Man pressure, a lot of pressure. Coach Reed's asking for a three-second call or five-second call there, and I can get it. Right side. Gibson, jumper. It's good. Nice ball fake there. Hunter's going to let it fly here. Gets the shot off. Oh, on the Boy, that was very very near. 57-38 at the end of the third. Rams with the lead, and we'll be back after this. Matt, thoughts on the game where it's at at the moment? Yeah, Tigers just couldn't crack that uh, lead. In fact, the Rams expanded a little bit there in the third quarter. He kind of got the sense early in the quarter there. The Tigers had a little bit of chance there, but uh, Rams are just too lethal in their transition. Offense, carrying defense to offense, and they're in control of this game. Rams with the ball as we come back to action now. Longmire to Gibson. Down underneath it goes to Gibson. We're going to have a foul on the play on the floor. You know, and usually, Aaron, you'll know I, I comment frequently about this throughout you know, when the Tigers play basketball, but the truth of it is the Tigers are a Class 2A team playing up in a Class 3A team, and that's the way it is in the Hawkeye team. That's, mm-hmm. just, that's just the way it is. I mean, that's not an excuse. It's not in regard to that, but that's what makes you better when you play against that better competition, but it is a challenge. You're, you're playing up in competition. Every night in Hawkeye 10, it's a tough night, that's for sure. Gibson for three, no good. Rebound. Reese Montgomery into the ballgame now for the Tigers. A freshman. Out on the right side, it goes to Sifford. I think Coach Reese wants Braden to take that shot. Braden needs to continue. to. He's got a good shot. He just needs to take it. Take it. Out on the left side, it goes to Minson. Sifford, top of the key, 7.20 to play in the ballgame. Gillen with the ball, right side, pressure from Schroeder, takes it into the lane, and Stout gets a hand on it. It's tapped, chased down the corner, and actually goes out of play. Yes. Tigers will keep it. Keep it with the Tigers here. All right. 57 to 38 is our score. 7 12 to play in the ball game. But you know, a young player like Reese Montgomery, who's got a lot of talent, you know, what a benefit it is to play with something. There's a good pass by Hunter and, uh, and uh, Vincent. Vincent. But it's such a benefit to play with someone like Max Reese, who's a senior all-time leading scorer in school history. I mean, to have that experience as a freshman, to play with someone like Max, that's how you learn a game. You learn a lot from that. So, you know, these young Tigers, Rotor and Montgomery, they're learning a lot playing with these seniors, Hunter and Max, who have in Brighton, who have been, you know, in big games in their career. Yeah. Ball's going to be tapped into the backcourt. It's chased down by DeVries. I still think this Red Oak team, Aaron, is going to have a chance to make a run here in the second half. They've got, what, four games turnover there by the Tigers. Four games and five nights. 
next yeah. week, Aaron, in a potential of five and six. So it's going to be a sprint, a, a, a grueling sprint next week, and you just have to put this game behind, like we said, and move on, whether you win or lose. And But I think they have a chance to, Down to get a run. Underneath it goes to Gibson, and he puts it up and in for two. Aiden Gibson. He's a junior, Matt. Yeah, and he's got some length. He's got he good. He does, 6'5". He's, he's quick off his feet on the jump. and Gillen takes it to Hunter the hoop. Finally draws a foul on a drive. I think that's the first one. thought he was shooting. Foul's on Schroeder. They're not going to say it's inbounds here. Probably is. second. What do we have here? <laughs> I don't know. They called an off. I, I'm not a big fan of off-ball calls. That was an off-ball call. Didn't see it. So it'll be foul. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a list, Matt, of your things. Off ball calls. Well, I'm not bounce pass, back cuts. Well, I should clarify. I'm not s saying that wasn't a foul. I, I, my guess it certainly absolutely was a foul. But did it have any impact on the game? Was it a an egregious, you know, aggressive move? If not, I think it's a play on. I I'm not disputing that it was a foul. I just think that was it worth calling. Nolan Mount with the ball right side works his way down toward the baseline. The hands it off to Stout. Takes it to the hoop. Nice move by Stout. He's fouled on the play. He'll go to the line for two. Seems like there have been a lot it, of fouls. It's kind of like you, know, you watch those NFL games, Aaron, and it's third down, and your team's trying to make a, make a stand, and the other team throws a long pass. It's incomplete, but they call a defensive holding way on the other side of the field that, you know, <laughs> the guy's barely in the TV picture, and you think, oh, really? It's kind of like that. That's my thought. Is that, that how you feel about it? That's, I mean, it's it's – it's inconsequential to the I don't really play. understand football. Can you put it in soccer terms? <laughs> or baseball? Can you put it in baseball terms for your bat? <laughs> no, I can't, Aaron. Stout right. with the ball shot. <laughs> Who you got? Chiefs going to beat Buffalo on Sunday? Yeah. You think? In yeah. Buffalo? Yeah. Okay. I, I really – that shot was good. I'm trying to write. You're trying I'm to write and do the game and have a uh, conversation uh, with yeah. me? I mean, I don't Multitasking. know. Multitasking. Sure, I, I'm – why not? You don't think they do? I don't know. First time Patrick Mahomes is going to be on the road in his career. We'll see. <laughs> There's DeVries into the lane. For a Kicks playoff it out game. To Johnson. First playoff game. Sifford with the ball into the lane. Kicks kick. into the corner for three. Gillen no good. Bennett Johnson with the board. is tapped. Coming away with it. Mount. Outlet pass goes the other end. Schroeder reverse layup is good for two. See that Rams just boom. Got the rebound, and they're, they're sprinting down court. Beat the Tigers down court there. 65-40 to 40 is the score with just over like five minutes and 15 seconds playing the ball game. Going to have a foul. We're going to have a – Who was that on? That was on – Mount. Number, yeah, number five. Mount, that's his first. So Substitution's so taking place here, Matt. Tigers inbounding here underneath their bucket. Johnson will put it into play to Bergren. Now DeVries comes around in the lane, spins, has it stripped loose, but he's fouled on the floor. I think Godbu. Yeah, probably two on Casey. Yeah, foul is on Godbu. And the Tigers will have the ball at the baseline again. DeVries will put it into play. I wonder if Casey's named after the convenience store. Do you think he was named after the convenience store? You should ask Mike that. I should ask Mike that. Is he named after the convenience store? And DeVries, top of the key, knocked loose by Longmire. Longmire to Johnson. Inside it goes to Godbu. Into the lane. And we're going to have a foul on the play, I believe, on Bergeron. And that's being, is that going to be five on Brighton? Actually, they called it on Johnson. Johnson, yeah. okay. Bennett and Johnson. 65 to 40. We're gonna, into the game, Reese Montgomery. At, at this pace, we might have to uh, think about breakfast because. Yeah, I think so. There's going to be a lot of fouls here. We're 444 to go, and we're going to be in the bonus here pretty soon. There's a. Shot from Anderson is good. He snaps the net, baseline left. Anderson, That's eight, a three, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, 18 points on the night for Caden Anderson. Grunwald out to 28 points. We might get to might get to a running clock situation here. Corner goes to Montgomery. He comes around the arc to Gillen. Johnson, Sifford, 420 to play in the ball game. Into the lane, kicks it to the corner to Gillen. Gillen takes the three. It's no good. We're going to have a foul. Off ball. They're going to call. Fighting for a rebound. And foul's going to be on Montgomery, I believe. Right. It I'm is. 
I didn't see it play, but, uh, you know, Reese is a good athlete, but I didn't think he had that kind of strength to <laughs> take down that 6'4". <laughs> Are we going to walk into in here? Well, I don't think was, I think. Uh, I yeah, I think so. Shot. It is a fifth team yeah. foul on Red Oak. So this will be two shots. We're in a two-shot situation now for four minutes ago. Let's mark this time, Aaron. It is now 8.38 Central Standard Time. <laughs> you, you want to set a timer? It's 8.38 Central Standard Time. What else, Matt? I mean, for With real. 4.13 to go in this game. Let's just see how long this game takes. Now, we could, like I said, we could get to a running clock situation here. This first shot. We from have confusion with the substitute. Yeah, first shot from Severn was no good. He took the first shot. Second shot from Severn is good. Now we have some substitutions taking place here. De Palma into the game for Glenwood. DeVries into the lane. Kicks it out to Sifford on the Braden. right side. Braden. DeVries takes the three from the top. It's no good. Rebound. Jack Johnson. And boy, he he's is, off. He is fast. Yeah, Godbu good fakes fake. it, takes it, and scores it. Casey Godbu. Yeah, Rams are just, they really get down the court of all the team. Maybe Kemper, but uh, certainly if no one else I can think of really transitions as well as the Clinwood does. And, End of the game and into the hoop is Gillen. He's fouled prior to getting there. Fouls on Johnson. I think that's five on Johnson. Everyone's it's it's it is. He's coming out of the ball game. It looks like Colt Colin Steele is checking into the ball game for Johnson. 338 to play. 71-40. And DeVries will put it into play from the baseline to Johnson in the corner. Top of the key, Montgomery. There's DeVries for the three off the right side. It's just not there. Yeah, Max just can't get to go tonight. Just not dropping I mean, for him. And that's a credit. Rams have played him all. I mean, I don't think Max has seen anything he hasn't seen this year defensively. He's seen certainly – Tremendous defense game, but he just can't get that ball to go from three to nine. Matt, you know, the thing is, sometimes it just doesn't drop. Some nights it's, it's your night, and some nights it's not. But still, I mean, even at that. I think the appropriate foreigner song would be Cold as Ice tonight. That would be the appropriate song tonight. But even that that said, he still has 19. I mean, we're, well, we're, uh, I mean we're, he has 19 points. He's getting a free cheese at the line. Now, that's where he's, he's, he's Free getting. cheese. But, um. Yeah, it's certainly yeah. not from a lack of effort. And I, I think a little bit the, t the Tigers have deferred him. I, again, we've talked a lot about, you know, other Tigers. I like to see Brighton Berger and Hunt his shot a little bit more. Um, Bennett Johnson, when he gets those rebounds down there, a little pump fake, go back up instead of trying to kick it out. Here comes Landon Geekstead in the game. Carson Roto will first, go out. First shot from DeVries is good. Make note of our sponsors. Say thank you when you have the opportunity, including our online sponsors for our streaming. Thank you very much. Max is 20 points. He's almost right on his average. Came in averaging 21. Second shot's no good. We have a lane violation there or what? I believe so. We did have a lane violation. Mr. West. Yeah. So Tigers, well, Max will try it again. How cold is going to get tonight? 20 below. Second shot is no, second. That's the second second shot. Second second shot. That's no, no good. good. 317 to play in the ball game. Colin Steele, that's to De Palma. De Palma to Taylor. Glenwood Steele. basically with their second team or JV team in here now. De Palma tapped loose by Gigstad. Nice effort there by Landon. Beeson is coming in again for the Tigers. Sipper to go out. So almost all reserves out there for the Tigers except for DeVries. DeVries is the only starter for either team. I take that back. Longmire's in for the Rams. Yep. Out on the right side, it goes to Taylor. Out of Longmire. Out on the right wing, Longmire with the ball. Pressure from Roeder. Takes the screen to Palma. Pick and roll, man. Yeah. Shot from De Palma's up, no good. Keep playing. Roeder. Roeder out on the right wing, gets it to Gigstad. There's Beeson, Gigstad. See, these guys got to be working, hunting their shot right here. 
There's Roeder. Down underneath to DeVries. He spins. Pressure. Puts it up and scores two. Max DeVries. 22 on the night for Max. Down the other end. Taking it to the hoop. No good. Rebound pulled down by the Rams. Back out top to De Palma for three. That gets a big rouse from the Ram fan base. He's a favorite off the bench for the Rams. Looks like the favorite of the Tigers coming off the bench, Mr. Enforcer, Pete Nectarnaw. DeVries, triple team, gets it to Gigstad, top of the key, fakes it down underneath to Montgomery. He puts it up, no good. Rebound to Balma. So the Tigers, with this loss, will drop the four and eight, but you shake it off because you're going to be come right back Monday there's night. There's no Aaron. time. Like you say, there's a lot of basketball coming up I, here. I think they're at Sydney actually Monday, I think. Sounds right. Shot goes up, three-pointer in and out. Rebound underneath, back up and in for two, and that and, was Landon McGoldrick. And the Rams have even less of a turnaround, Aaron. Tomorrow morning, I believe Coach Schultz told me at 9 o'clock, they have Ooh. a game in Omaha somewhere. 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, the Rams have a game from what I've been told. DeVries steps back for three. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by De Palma. Left side, it goes to McGoldrick. There's Longmire. I, Minute 10 to play. De Palma puts up the and I fadeaway think, jumper. No good. I, I think he said they played it back. They're playing at Baxter Arena, one of the bigger arenas in Omaha somewhere. So, um, so yeah, it's it's just tonight's tonight, and it's over. Uh, move on. <laughs> Games every night. 76-43 is our score with just over a minute to play in the ball game. Rams with the lead. Mason. Fisher into the ball game. Fisher with the ball. And for Ethan Burke. Fouts is in the game as well. Bouts with the ball. Gigstad for three from the corner. It's no good. Rebound chased down by Schroeder. You know, these kids right out here right now, this is going to be a lot of the varsity players next year for the Tigers. McGoldrick, De Palma to Taylor. De Palma, 39 seconds and counting. Into the foul line. Nice move to the bucket. It's good. Well, you're Euro step there, Aaron. Fisher, right side to Gigstad. 27 seconds. Gigstad in lane. There's a Euro step. Hey, you can do it. I can do it too. Why is it a Euro step? Why isn't it like, you Down. know, an Australian step, a step or something? There's a layup from Steele. Then the crowds join their subs, getting some points. 80, 80 to 43 is the score now. 10 seconds and counting. I think Shoot it, Peyton. Peyton Shoot it, Peyton. Shoot it, Peyton. And Shoot it, Peyton. The crowd, you know, real crowd wants Peyton. He's going to let it go. Eh. Off the rim. <laughs> 80 to 43 is our final. Rams with the victory. Yeah, I'm a little surprised that to admit. I didn't think it'd be, I mean, I knew it'd be an uphill battle for the Tigers, expecting a closer game, but credit to the Rams, Aaron. They, they played well. They played a really solid game and uh, a few turnovers, good defense, shot the ball well, great in transition. So credit to Glenwood Rams. We'll take a break and be back after these messages. 